back for high school fall season, and we have a great volleyball matchup in store for you. Two teams that made the Class A state tournament a season ago, both teams with high aspirations to do it again. Two incredible programs over the last decade doing battle to kick off the season. It is the Belgrade Bruton El Rosa Jaguars and the Pine River Bacchus Tigers. And welcome into the broadcast on Cash 95.9 and rjbroadcasting.com, simulcasting on yourliveevent.com on the Station 371 pregame show here in Pine River. Noah Caruso along with Emmett Kenny joining us. And, you know, Emmett, I tell you what, it's always exciting to start a new fall season, but I tell you what, you can't get a much better matchup than this to start the year. No, you definitely can't. Both teams making state last year, and, you know, you, you don't want to look too much into last season, but this is two teams that had success last season and looking to build off it and get further along in their state tournament appearances. And tonight's a big test for both teams and for the Jaguars. It's their first game of the year, so big test to start the season. Belgrade Bruton El Rosa is their first game of the year, while Pine River Back is coming off an impressive second place performance to start the year at the Rush City Tournament. Rush City was their loss in the championship game, a team that also made it to the state tournament a season ago. For Belgrade Bruton El Rosa, they enter this game as the reigning Section 6A champions, as well as the Central Minnesota Conference champions, finishing 26 and 8 a season ago, finishing fourth place in Class A. While Pine River Back is sec uh, coming in as the Section 5A champions, winners of the Northern Lakes Conference, finishing 27 and 6 a season ago, losing both their games against Mabel Canton and Ely in the state tournament. But a new season, some fresh faces for both teams, expecting a fun one here today. We are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll take a deeper look into these two squads, as well as coaches' interviews later on here in the Station 371 pregame show. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95.9. Agency is proud to support today's coverage. Hanneken Insurance has been serving families and businesses in central Minnesota for over 30 years. By working with an independent agency like Hanneken Insurance, the process of finding insurance that is appropriate for your goals and budget is simplified. Contact Hanneken Insurance Agency in Pine River, Little Falls, Piers, or Brainerd online at hannekeninsurance.com. Let Hanneken Insurance give you the peace of mind that comes from. Your financial situation is secure. Save on your groceries and gas each week just by shopping at Pequot Lakes Super Value on Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Shop your locally owned Pequot Lakes Super Value for quality, service, and freshness. Enjoy delicious daily deli specials around the Stone Hearth Fireplace, convenience on-site pharmacy, and the freshest meats and produce. Save on gas, too. Earn 10 cents of savings on gas for every $100 spent on groceries. Pequot Lakes Super Value, Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Good luck, area teams. Pine River Dental Arts is committed to the small town feel of your local dentist while providing top-notch dentistry like general dental care for all ages to help you have the healthiest mouth possible. And they offer same-day crowds. Pine River Dental Arts is happy to welcome Dr. Tony Sauer to the dental arts team. Make your appointment at Pine River Dental Arts on Park Avenue in downtown Pine River. I, 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 Dot com. Also broadcasting on Cash 95.9 and a special thanks to our pregame sponsors of Station 371. Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River is your place to restock on food, fuel, and bait. Station 371 has bait and tackle, quality sense gasoline, and is the only area fuel station with kerosene and off-road diesel. Station 371 in Pine River. And entering this game, Belgrade Bruton El Rosa taking on Pine River Bacchus. High school volleyball to start off the season. And for Pine River Bacchus, well, losing some key components last year. Hannah Barkas, an all-state uh, uh, player a season ago. And Kay Travis, all-conference. Losing those two key players, but some, uh, a lot of returning players, including Alora Dahl in that back line, as well as Brianna Hannigan, who's expected to be a top hitter for this team this season. And for Belgrade Bruton El Rosa, I mean, they're losing three... Uh, all state and all conference caliber players, Ava Mueller, Abba Berge, and Allison Dingman. Mueller was a class A all state, all central Minnesota conference, as well as Berge and Dingman. But Brooklyn Fisher does return as an all CMC pick last season as she had 279 kills, a 221 hitting percentage, as well as keeping an eye 
on uh, Kylie Weller, the sophomore, with uh, 273 digs and 893 assists on the season as we transition into the new season. And sometimes when it comes down to new players and, uh, you know, kind of getting a new system down, but you'll hear from both the coaches, they are confident in what they are able to run and keep things rolling for the season. Of course, both teams making the Class A state tournament a season a go as we look to keep things rolling, but we are going to take a quick break. We're going to take a break. We'll be back on just a moment on yourlivevent.com and Cash 95. 37. Feeling like patients are like family. Great people, economic viability, a wonderful place to live. Pine River, Bacchus, and PRB Schools. PRB Schools is a small school district with large district opportunities, providing activities and classes that involve students, making sure every student has everything to be successful. PRB Schools also offers a variety of community ed programs, a great way to learn new skills hands-on with others within the community making connections with families, being involved with the community, becoming a community family. PRBschools.org. The PRB Boosters are happy to sponsor coverage of the Tigers. Like them on Facebook for events and fundraisers. The PRB Boosters could use your help. Be part of great events and fundraisers, all built to give back and present more opportunities for the students of Pine River Bacchus Schools. For information or to get started, Email prbboosterclub1.com. Meetings are the first Monday of every month at 6 p.m. at the school. Good luck, Tigers, from the PRB Boosters. This year, Shrupp Excavating is celebrating 40 years of digging it right. With this milestone year, Shrupp Excavating wants to thank all of their past, current, and future employees and customers. They appreciate all you've done to help Shrupp Excavating become one of the most trusted companies in the Lakes area. For any excavation project, Shrupp Excavating will have your project done right and on time. Serving Pine River, Bacchus, Pequot Lakes, and all the surrounding communities. Shrupp Excavating, LLC. Online at ShruppExcavating.com. Restock on food, fuel, and baits at locally owned Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Station 371 has bait and tackle, quality Senex gasoline, off-road diesel, and is the only stop with number one diesel. Make sure to stop by to wash off the sand and salt with their indoor car wash. Open when the temp is at least 26 degrees. They'll hook you up with your fishing and hunting licenses too. Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Thank you for supporting local business. I'm dreaming of a world where the crack of a bat is not just a hobby, but a lifestyle. Where I can build upon long traditions from the ground up. I want to work in an industry where all people can make their own field of dreams become reality. I'm going to elevate the world of sports someday. Welcome back to the Station 371 pregame show. First volleyball broadcast of the year between the Pine River Backus Tigers and the Belgrade Brute Melrose Jaguars. Josh Hershey, head coach of the Tigers, joining us. And, Coach, obviously a great season for you guys last year, making it to the state tournament. And, you know, now see, let's see, see a little bit of game action before. Talk about some of the big things you want to carry uh, into this game and really for the rest of the season after last year. Yeah, well, it's a whole new year. You know, we, we kind of separated the two from, from the get-go, you know, in June when we came back. And so, you know, I mean, it, it was nice to what happened, but, you know, that, that's not going to dictate any, any amount of success for us. So we just got back to work this summer. Um, really, that, that's the key for us right now. Just keep grinding every day, every practice, hopefully when other teams don't, and see where that takes us come uh, late October. And, Coach, losing a couple of key players a season ago, but you guys were able to respond with a second-place finish in the Rush City Tournament. Talk about uh, what you liked in that tournament and uh, some key things to build off of. Yeah, no, I, I thought the resiliency was good. I mean, this group has, has a certain uh, resiliency that you need. Uh, we're still learning how to play with a couple, you know, without a couple of those kids from a year ago. But certainly we've had people step up. Uh, we believe our depth is better this year. We think 
we're hopeful that we got a few more offensive weapons, and so we're excited, you know. But uh, there's a long ways to go for us. But uh, you know, there's some positives, even though we we lost some great players. Everybody else is uh, you know a year older and hopefully a year better. And you know, talking about some of those key players that you want to see, is there anything that you just want to see, or any key players you want to highlight that you think are going to step up in a big way this year? Uh, we're gonna, we're going to need several of them. So I mean, we're we're only going to be as good as our sixth guy out there, you know. Uh, so. I would hate to highlight any of them, you know. It really takes a group effort with the team we have right now. Um, so, you know, all, all of them got to be at their best, you know. Um, we're, we'll play eight, nine kids at least, and, and, you know, we're counting on every one of them. And, Coach, this is a Belgrade Bruton El Rosa squad that got the best of you two times last year. But talk about some of the things you want to see change from a year ago. Obviously a different look, but some of the biggest things you want to see today that's going to lead to a victory. Yeah, I think we're more worried about our side of the net than theirs. I mean, you know, they were just better than us a year ago. That's the bottom line. Uh, you know, there, there was a game or two we played them pretty tough. But, uh, you know, they, they just had the players to, to kind of close out those games. It wasn't like we did a whole lot wrong. Um, so we'll see tonight. You know, I'm sure they got another just reload. That's what they do. And so it's, it's going to be a huge challenge. You know, we, we know they got a few pieces back starting in the middle. You know, setter's great, all-conference kind of kid. Um, so, you know, it's a tall challenge. We'll, we'll see how we do. Well, Coach, should be a lot of fun. Thanks for taking the time. Best of luck out there. Hey, thanks a lot for being here. Josh Hershey, head coach of the Pine Riverback is Tigers. Back in just a moment on the Station 371 pregame show. Hannikin Insurance Agency. Do something fun and make new friends. Join a bowling league at Community Bowl and Pizzeria in Pine River. Community Bowl and Pizzeria has openings for all leagues, men's, women's, mixed, youth, seniors, and also Special Olympics. Enjoy some friendly competition and have a great time. Food specials offered on all league nights. Don't forget Moonlight Bowling every Saturday evening. For information on leagues or to sign up, call or stop into Community Bowl and Pizzeria in downtown Pine River. 218-587-3100. Welcome back to the Station 371 pregame show. First volleyball broadcast of the year between the Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa Jaguars and the Pine Riverback is Tigers. Lana Hunter, head coach of the Jaguars, joining us. And coach, obviously a very successful year last year for you guys making the state tournament. Just talk about what that does to really build momentum towards this year. Absolutely. We placed uh, fourth last year at the state tournament, and we have two returning hitters, a DS and a libero, and that really sets the tone for how we come into the season, and they have big aspirations knowing what's out there um, from previous seasons. And then just talk about, you know, first game action of the year, some things that you've really liked in the early stages of practice that are you really want to apply for this game. This is our first match of the season, um, so we have... I'm anticipating a couple kinks, working out lineups and things like that, but replacing, we had nine seniors graduate last year, and not all of them saw floor time, but three of our key hitters graduated last year, and so I'm really excited to see some of these younger players um, step into some of those roles and see where they're able to take it. And talk about just replacing, you know, some a lot. When you have a lot of senior leadership, it's always can be tough to replace, but who are some standout players to keep an eye on today that are really going to take a big role? Uh, Brooklyn Fisher, number four. She plays all the way around for us. Um, she is a very versatile hitter. Loves to hit anywhere up on the net. Primarily a middle, but she'll kind of mix it around, push people around a little bit that way. Uh, in a good way. <laughs> um, Kylie Weller is a returning setter for us from last season. She stepped into a starting position midway through the season due to an injury and really worked hard to maintain and even push to improve. Um, on that and so she's adapted very well to some of our up-and-coming new hitters um, and works really hard on the floor. Adley Hagen does a nice job um, a returning hitter from us for last year. She is number five on the outside. Puts up a good ball. And then our, one of our other key hitters is Casey Fisher. Um, she had a varsity jersey last year as a freshman, and I could pull her off the bench to put her in about any position. And I am really excited to see where she goes this year. And, Coach, this is a Pine River squad that you have had success with in recent years, getting the sweep of them last year in two games. Talk about what you expect from them this year, and we're going to be keys for a victory for you guys. We're really focused on what's happening on our side for this game. First match of the season, we're not super worried about where that opponent is at. We have some kinks, some things that we're looking for on our side that we want to hone in and, and make sure we're mastering those. Well, Coach, should be a lot of fun, but thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Lana Hunter, head coach of the Belgrade Brute Now Rosa Jaguars, back in just a moment on the Station 371 pregame show. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic in Pine River is proud to support radio coverage of our area athletes. 
No matter the sport, they salute the kids and coaches for all their dedication and wish them all the best of luck. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic thanks all the coaches, staff, and volunteers for taking the time to provide our area kids plenty of opportunities. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic is located east of Pine River on County Road 1, providing compassionate small animal care for your beloved pets. Hannikin Insurance Agency is proud to support today's coverage. Hannikin Insurance has been serving families and businesses in central Minnesota for over 30 years. By working with an independent agency like Hannikin Insurance, the process of finding insurance that is appropriate for your goals and budget is simplified. Contact Hannikin Insurance Agency in Pine River, Little Falls, Piers, or Brainerd online at hannikininsurance.com. Let Hannikin Insurance give you the peace of mind that comes from knowing your financial situation is secure. Save on your groceries and gas each week just by shopping at Pequot Lakes Super Value on Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Shop your locally owned Pequot Lakes Super Value for quality, service, and freshness. Enjoy delicious daily deli specials around the Stone Hearth Fireplace, convenience on-site pharmacy, and the freshest meats and produce. Save on gas, too. Earn 10 cents of savings on gas for every $100 spent on groceries. Pequot Lakes Super Value, Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Good luck, area teams. Pine River Dental Arts is committed to the small town feel of your local dentist while providing top-notch dentistry like general dental care for all ages to help you have the healthiest mouth possible. And they offer same-day crowds. Pine River Dental Arts is happy to welcome Dr. Tony Sauer to the dental arts team. Make your appointment at Pine River Dental Arts on Park Avenue in downtown Pine River or call 587-4437. Feeling like patients are like family. Great people, economic viability, a wonderful place to live. Pine River, Bacchus, and PRB Schools. PRB Schools is a small school district with large district opportunities, providing activities and classes that involve students, making sure every student has everything to be successful. PRB Schools also offers a variety of community ed programs, a great way to learn new skills hands-on with others within the community, making connections with families, being involved with the community, becoming a community family. PRBSchools.org. The PRB Boosters are happy to sponsor coverage of the Tigers. Like them on Facebook for events and fundraisers. The PRB Boosters could use your help. Be part of great events and fundraisers, all built to give back and present more opportunities for the students of Pine River Bacchus Schools. For information or to get started, email PRB Booster. Noah Caruso and Emma Kenny broadcasting live here in Pine River. We have our first volleyball broadcast of the season here on Cash 95.9, simulcasting on yourliveevent.com. We have the Belgrade Brutonelle Rosa Jaguars taking on the Pine River Bacchus Tigers, two teams that made it to the state tournament a season ago and with high aspirations to do the same again this year. And here are your starters today. First for the visiting Belgrade Bruton El Rosa Jaguars. Go, starting things off is going to be senior number one, Anna Yeager. Uh, junior number two, Ava Dietertz. Senior number four, Brooklyn Fisher, a player to keep an eye on today. Uh, junior number five, Adley Hagen. Freshman number six, Casey Fisher. Sophomore number seven, Mackenzie Le or Leeser. Junior number 16, Kylie Weller. And sophomore number 17, Cadence Hader. They are coached by Alana Hunter in her fifth season with the Belgrade Brutonel Rosa Jaguars. Two state tournaments in her time, a 58 and 17 record as her time as the head coach. And for the Pine River Bacchus Tigers, and to, it's subject to change as uh, uh, Coach Hershey was making some late game adjustments, but we'll see. But as of now, this is what we have for the starting lineup for the Pine River Bacchus Tigers. It is going to be junior number three, Cassidy Bristow, senior number five, Brianna Hannikin. Sophomore number six, Mimi Bukers. Senior number eight, Ashley Champ. Senior number 10, Alora Dahl. And rounding things out, senior number 20, Madeline Knapp. Uh, Caitlin Riley, the junior, number 24, will be the libero for the Pine River Bacchus Tigers. And you know, Emmett, we're ready to rock and roll. And two premier teams in Class A to start off the year. What are some things you're gonna be keeping an eye on today? Well, I think the key for this one today is just kind of how teams start. Belgrade, Bruton, Arosa has not played a game so far this year. Pine River Back is coming off a tournament over the weekend. So I think it's the key for Pine River Back is to start things off is Belgrade, Bruton, Arosa is going to be a little rusty to start this game. So how can Pine River Back is take advantage of that? 
For Pine River Bacchus, of course, they are coming off an impressive performance at the Rush City Tournament, may, uh, making it to the championship, finishing second behind Rush City, who made the state tournament a season ago as well for Class A. These two teams met two, uh, twice last year. Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa took both matchups, winning a combined 5-0 in their respective sets as there was tournament play in Crosby between the two teams as well. Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa has taken the last four matchups against Pine River Bacchus, including the 2017 section championship game. The last time the Tigers were able to get a win, well, they made the state tournament back in 2016, the last time that the Tigers were able to get a win over the Jaguars. And for Pine River Bacchus, have had recent success as a volleyball program coached by Josh Hershey as heading into this season, they have played in four of the last five section finals, uh, the, the only exclusion being the COVID year that they, of course, did not play the full season. But it seems that we are about ready to go. Pine River Bacchus in the black with the orange numbers, the Jaguars of BBE in the gray jerseys with the blue numbers as an exciting year of volleyball is about ready to commence. We have another matchup on KLKS Talk 100.1, the second ranked team in class AA Pequot Lakes taking on Wadena Deer Creek, a rematch of the section semifinals a season ago. And it seems that Caitlin Riley is gonna step right in, coming in for Brianna Hannigan to get things going for the Pine River Bacchus Tigers. We're not able to get a win in the state tournament a year ago. Belgrade Bruton El Rosa finishing fourth as we await the final word to get going. BBE is going to serve going left to right on your radio dial. Simulcasting on your live event.com. And this season is underway with the opening serve right down the middle, dug out by Alora Dahl. And now the Tigers look to set, but nothing going on there as Dahl sets it over. And now here come BBE, a whistle and an infringement. A double hit that time for Belgrade Bruton El Rosa. 1-0 Pine River Bacchus here to get things going. Laura Dahl to serve. Deep serve this time as now coming back in is going to be Mimi Bukers. Coming in for Ella Dahl. And now Laura Dahl from the right side. Deep serve and a miss hit that time by number 17, Hayter. And it's 2-0 Pine River Bacchus right out of the gates. And it seems that early on mistakes killing the Jaguars. Well, yeah, and they haven't played a game so far, and Pine River Bacchus, I think, knows that, and so they're coming at them full force to see what they can do so far. And there's an ace that goes to Alora Dawn, a good serve that time down the middle. There's not much going on that time as that hits over. Riley setting things up. It's going to be Hannigan who's going to lift it over. Now down up the middle. This is going to be a hard hit this time, and dug out by Brooklyn Fisher. Hitting that one a little too hard. Brooklyn Fisher, a player to keep an eye on this year for Belgrade Bruton El Rosa. But three mistakes in the early going for the Jaguars. Three, nothing. Pine River Bacchus. Dahl from the far corner to serve. Line drive serve that time as Hayter setting that one up. Now near post for Fisher again. And that time out of bounds. Brooklyn Fisher again. Four, nothing. Pine River Bacchus. And it's been all Jaguars with the mistakes here in the early going. And now Laura Dahl will get the whistle. Again, serving in the far corner. With the jump serve. Line drive. Hayter. On the far sideline. Now far post. Brooklyn Fisher going to try it again. Riley digging that one out. It's going to be Dahl setting it up for Bukers, but dug out that time beautifully by Fisher. Not much going on there. That's tipped in. That's going to be a mistake. Hit, hit, miss hit that time by Champ and BBE with their first points here of the evening. Yeah, very important for BBE. Just kind of calm things down, get going a little bit here. Brooklyn Fisher. Serve near the near sideline. Riley digs it out. And that time it is Hannigan able to hit it over. Now lofted that time by Weller. Hunter Bacchus again. Hit down the middle. Fisher digging that one out. BBE again as that's lofted over by Weller. And a miss hit that time by Bristow. Boy, it uh, seems like early game rust here before both teams in the early going. 4-2. Belgrade Bruton El Rosa with the serve as Pine River Bacchus leads. Brooklyn Fisher again, line drive serve. Riley digging that one out. Setting it up. Euchers and a miss hit that time by Riley. And just like that, Belgrade Bruton El Rosa has cut the lead to one, four to three here in set number one. Some sloppy volleyball here in the early stages. Fisher again to serve, three straight points for the Jaguars. Line drive serve, that's a Laura Dahl on the far sideline. Hit this time as Keep an eye on Champ all game long and off the net and that time again, Champ wasn't quite ready for it. She was looking to set up in the middle, but tried to 
Over assessed that time and it is now 4-4 the score. Fisher again, that is gonna be dug out, out of bounds, but able to corral nicely as Knapp. As now here come the Jaguars, far post, and miss hit that time is as well past the back line as Hagen hitting that one over that time. Pine River Backus reclaims the lead, five to four. We get Hanneken. Coming in for Champ, and it is Caitlin Riley on the far corner to serve, lofting that one up. It's gonna set up here for Hader, and that's gonna get down Hader with the kill. Hader with her first kill of the evening, and now a substitution this time. It is going to be number three, Taylor Alchenbruns. Alchenbruns the senior, and she's gonna be the one to serve. And a lofted serve, and that is gonna be out of bounds. So the lead going right back to Pine River back is back and forth action in the early going. Avery Sawyer, the senior, now stepping in for Knapp. Now the serve this time by Bristow, line drive, but dug out that time by Fisher. Now she's gonna set it up and hit it, but into the net, and that is gonna be another point for Pine River back is seven to five. Tigers add to their lead here in set number one. Lee Bristow again, line drive, Brooklyn Fisher digging that one out. Now far post and a light tap that time by Kaylin Fisher, and that is going to be a kill for her, her first kill of the evening, and it's seven to six. BBE looking to serve. It's gonna be number one, Jaeger, for the first time, and Riley with a miss hit, that's gonna be an ace for Jaeger. And just like that, we are tied again at seven, first ace for BBE. Here on the evening. Jaeger again, near sideline, line drive. Pine River back is setting up near post. That's gonna be a good hit that time. And that, now BBE resets. Dug out, that is Hanneken. Hit this time, but that is gonna be Olsen Bruns with the dig. Now hard hit again that time, it is Euchers. And Euchers not able to miss hit that time. It is now seven to eight, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa with their first lead here of set number one. Jaeger again, line drive, Bristow plays, now to Laura Dahl in the middle, Hanneken with the hit and off the arm, chicken, chicken winged at that time was Brooklyn Fisher and it's tied at eight here again. Back and forth action here in the early stages, Mimi Bukers to serve. On the far corner and that time out of bounds on the back line. So nine to eight the score. Ella Dahl getting ready to come back in Coming in for Mimi Bukers. Ocean Bruns coming out in is Lizer. Or Leiser, excuse me. Leiser coming in for Ocean Bruns. It is going to be Dieters the Libero. Serving for BBE. Line drive serve. Caitlin Riley, the other Libero, digging that one out. Laura Dahl lightly tapping that one. Gets BBE a chance to reset. Far pose. Hit Hagen. And oh, great awareness that time by Hanneken as she lofts that one over. And now trying to catch him off guard is the Jaguars, but here is Alora Dahl bringing that one down. Alora Dahl will get her first kill, 9-9 the score. Brianna Hanneken is gonna be the one to serve for Pine River Bacchus. Riley out, Avery Sawyer back in. Hanneken with the serve. Now it's gonna be out of bounds that time is trying to dig that one out off the miss hit was Weller. 10 to nine, Pine River Bacchus back in front. For Hanneken, that is gonna be her first ace, looking for another one, line drive. Weller, popping that one back as Brooklyn Fisher just taps that one over. Ella Dahl setting up her sister, Laura, but blocked that time by Brooklyn Fisher, but digging it that time was Champ. And now a line drive on the far sideline, that is down, 10-10 our score, Brooklyn Fisher. That is gonna be her first kill, 10-10. Casey Fisher gonna be the one to serve as that's gonna be a lofted serve. That's gonna be a little too far on the back line. So it goes right back to Pine River Backus. Megan Irish seeing action for the first time as she is gonna be coming in for Madeline Knapp. 
serving near sideline. Irish lofted serve on the far corner. Jaguars looking to set up. Hard hit that time, but dug out by Irish. Lofting that one up is Bristow. Now here come the Tigers again. Riley, miscommunication as she just sets that one over. Fisher, hard hit, then that was tipped. Couldn't quite see who that was tipped on. A couple of Tigers there, but nonetheless, that is going to be a kill for Brooklyn Fisher. And we are tied at 11. Madeline Knapp coming right back in for Megan Irish. Weller's going to serve for Belgrade Brute now Rosa. Tied at 11. Line drive serve. Snap plays that one. This is Bristow in the near corner, and that one's lofted, but Dieter's with the dig that time, and Fisher's just going to reset things. Tigers looking to get going offensively. Hit this time as that's going to be Bristow, but that is going to be... That will hit that time as that's going to now be a infringement point. 12-11, Belgrade Brute now Rosa back on top. Boy, it doesn't seem uh, much. Uh, team's not really given much as we've been back and forth here in the early stages with a whistle. And that is going to be another point as one of the players was under the line on the serve. So it's 13 11. Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa, and Emmett. I mean, we've just been seeing back to back action here as we expected. Yeah, a bunch of back and forth action, something you'd expect from two solid teams. And a little bit of a rusty start for both teams, but it's been great back and forth action between the both. Weller with the serve. Pine Rubakis hitting it over. Weller's now going to set up Fisher. That one's tipped at the uh, net, and that is going to be a point. That's going to be a lift on Belgrade Bruton El Rosa, so 13 to 12. Jaguars still lead. Buker's getting ready to come back in for Ella Dahl. 13 to 12, Jaguars on top, but it is Pine Rubakis' serve. The deep serve from Alora Dahl. Jump serve, line drive. Good serve that time, but great awareness by. Casey Fisher, but now miscommunication and not able to get it over in three hits that time as Brooklyn Fisher and Hagen were not quite able to communicate who was going to get to it, but it is now tied at 13. Laura Dahl again, line drive, dug out that time. Lofting that one over is Hagen and able to play it. This is going to be Hannigan with the hit on the far post and dug out that time beautifully and great mid hit that Brooklyn. Fisher. Casey Fisher with the dig to set things up for Brooklyn Fisher. So it's now 14 to 13, BBE leads. Brooklyn Fisher, line drive serve. Snap plays that one. Bristow hard hit was blocked at the line and that does get down. Bristow with the kill. We are tied again at 14. Brianna Hannigan, who sat out just a moment ago, now coming right back in for Champ. Riley lofted serve in the near corner. It's going to be a hard hit this time. Hater, but trying to dig it out, Hannigan. But the power of Hater to slam that down gets the point for Belgrade Bruton El Rosa. Coming out is going to be Leezer. Ultra Bruns, who is coming in to serve back into the game. 15 to 14, Jaguars lead, but that is going to be a miss hit on the serve. Out of bounds, tied at 15. Avery Sawyer getting ready to come back in for Knapp. So we are tied at 15 here in set number one. Cassidy Bristow is going to be the one to serve. Going down the middle, line drive, that's out of bounds on the far sideline. So right back to BBE, 16 to 15. Coming right back in is going to be Jaeger. As taking a rest is going to be Hagen. Jaeger's going to be the one to serve near sideline. Lofting that one up, out of bounds. So going right back to Pine River Bacchus, 16 to 16. A lot of serving errors here in the early going on that. Yeah, a lot of serving errors, and all of them are being hit a little too far, so it's kind of an adrenaline thing. Just got to calm down and ease their way into this game a little bit. Both teams still trying to feel each other out as Buker's the one to serve it over and off the hit, Buker's again to play it. Hannigan trying to lift that one over but not able to get it in three as that hit the top of the net. Belgrade Bruton El Rosa leads 17 to 16 here in set number one. Ella Dahl coming in for Champ. As Weller is gonna come out. Back in is Leezer. 
Dieter's the libero to serve down the middle. Line drive, is she's gonna serve that one to the far corner. Riley, on the third hit, able to set that one over. Now lifted by Fisher. The Tigers able to read that defensively. Laura Dahl looking to reset. Jaguars now down the middle as that's tipped at the line. Or at the net, rather, as Brooklyn Yeager will get another kill. Eighteen to sixteen, Belgrade Bruno Rosa on top. Dieters to serve line drive. Riley plays it in the middle, but a bit, a little bit of a miss hit that time as Hannikin sets that one over. Weller far pose. This is going to be Hagen, or excuse me, uh, Casey Fisher, and that is just down on the far sideline inbound, and that's going to be nineteen to sixteen and a timeout by Coach Fisher and the Tigers. 1916, Belgrade, Brutnell, Rosa Lees here in set number one. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95 and your live event.com. Dot com. Meetings are the first Monday of every month at 6 p.m. at the school. Good luck, Tigers, from the PRB Boosters. This year, Shrupp Excavating is celebrating 40 years of digging it right. With this milestone year, Shrupp Excavating wants to thank all of their past, current, and future employees and customers. They appreciate all you've done to help Shrupp Excavating become one of the most trusted companies in the Lakes area. For any excavation project, Shrupp Excavating will have your project done right and on time. Serving Pine River, Bacchus, Pequot Lakes, and all the surrounding communities. Shrupp Excavating, LLC. Online at ShruppExcavating.com. New Crosley Appliances. Wides is better than the rest. It's simple. When you need new major appliances without major prices, buy Crosley Appliances with a 10-year warranty from Wides Major Appliance in Brainerd. Across from Lakes Printing on Oak Street in Brainerd. Off the Pine River Vacus timeout. 19-16, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa leads here in set number one. Dieters to serve for BBE. Going left to right on your radio dial. As Laura Dahl hitting that one hard down the middle. Jaguars not fooled as Casey Fisher hits that one, but blocked beautifully by Hanneken. But now the Jaguars back on the attack. Weller to Brooklyn Fisher, and that's down on the far sideline. Another kill for Brooklyn Fisher. She's got five on the night. 20 to 16. As Belgrade Brutonel Rosa slowly starting to pull away. For those that just a reminder, first to 25, takes the set. Dieters, line drive serve. Far sideline, here come the Tigers. Laura Dahl hitting that one out of bounds. 21 to 16. Boy, the airs have really been killing the Tigers. Here in the early stages here of set number one. We do have a score update over in Wadena when we get a next stoppage. Here's the serve, and now this is Hanneken far post, and that is just down on the back line. Boy, great placement by Brianna Hanneken. She's gonna get her first kill, 21 to 17. And a quick score update over on KLKS Talk 100.1. Pequot Lakes taking set number one, 25 to 17, over Wadena Deer Creek. Now Hanneken's gonna serve down the middle. Dieters playing that one on the near sideline. Far post for Fisher, and dug out by Hanneken. Hanneken's been all over the place last couple of sets here. Now the Jaguars far post, Casey Fisher, and blocked that time of Laura Dahl as that gets down for a Pine River back as point. Now the Tigers looking to get on a run. 21 to 18, BBE leads here in set number one. Anakin is gonna be the one to serve again. Line drive into the net. Right back to the Jaguars, 22 to 18. Caitlin Riley coming in for Hanneken. It's gonna be Madeline Knapp getting ready to come in for Avery Sawyer. Casey Fisher gonna be the one to serve for the Jaguars. Setting up near sideline. Line drive now to the opposite side as that's gonna be out of bounds. So right back to the Tigers, 22 to 19. Megan Irish coming right back in for Madeline Knapp. Irish is going to be the one to serve for Pine River back as one of their key servers from a season ago. Expect to see a lot more playing time this year as that's lofted up as dug out by the Jaguars as Jaeger to set that up for Casey Fisher, but that is well out of bounds. Point to Pine River back as 22 to 20. 
Tigers looking to get a rally to tie this set up. Irish to serve again, lofted in the far sideline, but that time out of bounds. So a point for Belgrade Bruton El Rosa, 23 to 20. Weller is gonna be the server for Belgrade Bruton El Rosa. It's going back in, a leaser for the Jaguars as line drive serve. Lofted up that time by Alora Dahl. Riley just has to set that one over, but a good hit that time to challenge the Jaguars. Brooklyn Fisher down the middle, dug out by Ella Dahl. Now lofted it over, Hannigan trying to catch him sleeping. Now far post, hit blocked, Hagen. Almost able to knock that one down, but this time it is going to be a leaser, but that does fall down off the miss hit. But now they're saying an infringement that time, it was over the net on the hit that time is coming back in for Pine River Bacchus. Mimi Buker's in for Ella Dahl. So 23 to 21, Alora Dahl is gonna be the one to serve. Alora Dahl, the senior. Jump serve on the far sideline, line drive to the opposite side. As Brooklyn Fisher digs that one out. Now she's gonna get it on the near post and that's into the net. Pine River Bacchus cutting it to one, 23 to 22. Great back and forth action here in set number one as we expected. Dahl, deep jump serve, line drive down the middle. Played by Casey Fisher and off the one wing hit that time as Hagen able to just get that over but the hit out of bounds that time by Champ. It is 24 to 22, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa. One point away from taking set number one. They took all five sets last year in the two matchups they played against Pine River Bacchus. Brooklyn Fisher to serve, good line drive. Dahl setting that one up. It's gonna get back to Bristow, took a deflection at the net. Now this is Hagen, blocked that time by Champ. And now we'll come back to Tigers on the attack. This is Bristow lofting that one up right down the middle. Oh, bit of a smooth play by Bristow to knock that one down, 24 to 23. Caitlin Riley to serve for the Tigers. You have to win by two in the set. So the Tigers are able to tie it, but not that time on the serve. That's out of bounds on the far sideline. Belgrade, Bruton El Rosa takes this back and forth set number one, 25 to 23. We are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have a brief recap of set number one and get you set for number two as BBE leads one to nothing here in the match. Back in just a moment, you're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash95 and YourLiveEvent.com. Restock on food, fuel, and baits at locally owned Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Station 371 has bait and tackle, quality Senex gasoline, off-road diesel, and is the only stop with number one diesel. Make sure to stop by to wash off the sand and salt with their indoor car wash. Open when the temp is at least 26 degrees. They'll hook you up with your fishing and hunting licenses too. Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Thank you for supporting local business. I'm dreaming of a world where the crack of a bat is not just a hobby, but a lifestyle. Where I can build upon long traditions from the ground up. I want to work in an industry where all people can make their own field of dreams become reality. I'm going to elevate the world of sports someday. Do something fun and make new friends. Join a bowling league at Community Bowl and Pizzeria in Pine River. Community Bowl and Pizzeria has openings for all leagues, men's, women's, mixed, youth, seniors, and also Special Olympics. Enjoy some friendly competition and have a great time. Food specials offered on all league nights. Don't forget. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic in Pine River is proud to support radio coverage of our area athletes. No matter the sport, they salute the kids and coaches for all their dedication and wish them all the best of luck. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic thanks all the coaches, staff, and volunteers for taking the time to provide our area kids plenty of opportunities. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic is located east of Pine River on County Road 1, providing compassionate small animal care for your beloved pets. Back. 
volleyball action here on Catch 95.9. Simulcasting on your live event.com. No Crusoe and Emmett Kenny back with you. BBE taking the first set 25 to 23. And, you know, Emmett, we expected back and forth action, but a lot of mistakes and rust to shake off in that first set. Yeah, a lot of rust to shake off. Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa had four errors to start the game. But they responded, got better as the set went on, and kind of found their way to put it away. But it was very back and forth. I think the biggest lead in the set was four points. So very close, and Pine River back is looking to try to get back in this set and even things up. Can confirm, Emmett, that the biggest lead was four, and it was back and forth pretty much the entire way. BBE taking the first set 25 to 23. Brooklyn Fisher leading the way with five kills. Weller with three set assists to lead the way. Multiple Tigers with one kill a piece. And again, a lot of errors in that first set. So not a whole lot in terms of the stat department. But for Pine River Backus, coming off an impressive performance in the Rush City Tournament. We're not able to take a set last year against Belgrade Bruton El Rosa, who have won four straight matches against the Tigers. For BBE, there's certainly that, that glimpse of a, a rust to shake off. But... Alana Hunter confident with her squad despite losing some key players a season ago. So here we go for BBE. On the back row is going to be Jaeger, Casey Fisher, and Dieters. In the front row, it is going to be Leeser, Brooklyn Fisher, and Weller. Pine Rebacchus is going to serve. Alora Dahl is going to be the one to get things going here in set number two. And we'll check on Pine Rebacchus' team on the court. Let me get a moment, but Laura Dahl setting things up. This is Casey Fisher on the back line, hitting that one, but Knapp with the dig. Near post, hit that time by Champ. Lofted that one over, Dieters. Dahl setting up down the middle. Bristow hard hit that time, and that is going to be out of bounds. And there we go for Pine River Backus. Fast start as Bristow is going to get the kill. Laura Dahl with the set assist. It's Laura Dahl, Madeline Knapp, Caitlin Riley. It is going to be Brianna Hannigan. Ella Dahl and Ashley Champ. Cassie Bristow, excuse me, and here we go, Caitlin Riley. Now to Bristow, and Bristow with two kills right out of the gates. Cassie Bristow, who had just one in that first set, now at two in the early stages. Two nothing, Pine River Backus. They were able to jump up to a four nothing lead, but due to mistakes, but this time the Tigers starting to feel it offensively. Jump serve, far sideline. Dieters playing it in the middle. Weller setting up Brooklyn Fisher as he tries to slam that one down. Champ getting it back out of bounds. So the errors continue for Pine River Backus. Two to one. Tigers still on top. Jaeger's going to come out. Back in is Hagen. Weller is going to be the one to serve for BBE. On the near sideline. Goes down the middle. As Knapp playing that one in the middle. Hanneken far post. Blocked that time by Hagen. She'll get the block and the kill. Or excuse me, it looks like that was out of bounds on the hit, so it's three to one. Thought maybe it took a deflection, it seemed, but off the block, but nonetheless a point for Pine River Backus. But that time, served right into the net by Caitlin Riley. So now it is three to two, as Brooklyn Fisher is gonna be the one to serve. Fisher who had an ace in set number one. Jump serve, line drive, Riley the libero plays it. Dahl in the middle, now setting up far pose. Bristow down for another kill. Boy, it's Cassidy Bristow set here in the early stages. Four to two, Pine River Backus. I tell you what, Em, it seems that Bristow's really starting to feel and be a difference maker. Yeah, really starting to ease into this game and really important to stop with the errors and just start playing some good offense. Avery Sawyer back in for Pine River Backus. And that's hard hit by Hader. Riley was not ready for it. Hader. With her first kill of the set, four to three. Ocean Bruns coming back in to serve for Belgrade, Bruton, and El Rosa. She is going to come in for Leeser. Now the serve over as Dahl setting up in the middle. Hannigan knocks that one down. Not exactly the hardest hit ball, but good finesse that time as Hannigan will get the kill. Five to three. Is now right back in is Leeser. In for Ocha Bruns. Dieter back, Dieter back in as well. It's going to be Champ to serve it. Line drive. 
Weller setting up far post, hard hit, Casey Fisher off the hands of Bristow as at the flex to the sideline to the crowd. It's five to four. Ella Dahl getting ready to come in for Mimi Bukers. Jaeger back now into the match. In for Hagen. Jaeger going to be the one to serve. 5-4, Tigers on top here in set number two. Lofted serve, played in the back row by Bristow. Now lofted over by Hanneken as they reset. And now the Jaguars looking to get things rolling. Here's Hagen, that's blocked. Well, that is out of bounds. Well, they did take a deflection off of, or yeah, now there's the official word. Yes, it was blocked off of Irish and it did go out of bounds. A little back and forth between the referee there, but it is tied at five. Hager, tip off the net, great dig by Riley. As now she's gonna try and hit that one over on the third hit, but right into the net. Belgrade Brutonel Rosa on top, six to five here in set number two. Hager, line drive serve down the middle. Bristow playing it. Dahl setting it up. Flora Dahl trying to hit that, but right into the net. Seven to five, BBE. Up in front here as they lead the match one to nothing. Jaeger for the third straight time. Lofted serve that time. Bristol plays it in the back row in the middle. Now near post. It's going to be Irish. Hard hit, but Jaeger able to react to it. And now Casey Fisher hits that right into the net. Not exactly what they wanted to set up offensively. Seemed a little loss on that point there. Seven to six. BBE still leads. Now Hanneken to serve, line drive, Jaeger playing it in the near corner. Now far post, Casey Fisher, that's blocked, but right on the side of Pine River Bacchus as Champ and Dahl, Laura Dahl were there. Hanneken coming out, Caitlin Riley back in for Pine River Bacchus. Eight to six, Belgrade Brutino Rosa still leads. Dieter's getting ready to serve the libero. Dieter's a bit of a hop on the serve that time. Bristol plays on the near sideline. Here is Champ, hard hit. Jaeger playing in the back row with the dig. Now Casey Fisher took a deflection. That time off of Champ, it's out of bounds. Nine to six, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa leads here in set number two. We're really starting to see as this game is developed, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa setting up that high powered offense. We knew coming into this game that they were gonna have some good hitters at that is Bristol right into the net, 10 to six the score as BBE looking to pounce. Dieter, soft serve. Riley again with an impressive dig. Ella Dahl setting up for Alora down in the far corner. Sister to sister connection, Alora Dahl gonna be a key component on the attack. Megan Irish coming in for Nap, 10 to seven. Hind River back is trails. Now a bit of Miscommunication here between the side judge and the referee. But now here we go, ball dribbled over to Megan Irish. Megan Irish, the senior, with the serve. Lofting that one short, and that's gonna be an ace for Megan Irish. Irish with her first ace of the match, 10 to eight now the score, BBE leads. Irish again, another short serve, but this time able to react to it are the Jaguars. That was blocked off the hit by Brooklyn Fisher. And now trying to catch the Jaguars sleeping is Ella Dahl. So that was hit that time by Leeser. And now here come the Tigers, but not wanting that offensively. And now Brooklyn Fisher slamming that one down on the far sideline. Boy, Brooklyn Fisher has looked impressive here as the game has come along. Fisher. Kill number six in the match. Nap back in for Irish. 11 to eight, Jaguars lead. Casey Fisher gonna jump serve, line drive, and that's Nap. It's dug out, but it gets out as Bristow under serve that time. Far pose, hit, deflected. Riley, another an impressive dig. Laura Dahl setting up for Ella Dahl, and they get it over. Great effort set up by Caitlin Riley. Weller, another dig that time, this time by Ella Dahl. Now far near post, excuse me, and another dig. Boy, the back row for Pine River back is showing out here. Riley not able to get to it that time, as she was not ready for that loose hit that time by Weller. 
Boy, a great effort, Emmett, by the back row for Pine River Bacchus. Yeah, great effort there. Unfortunately, doesn't result in anything for them as Belgrade, Bruton, and Rosa just kept coming and coming on. Casey Fisher, the one to serve. Riley lofting that one up. Fisher in the back row. Fisher. Now in the near post. Laura Dahl dug out that time by Dieters. Brooklyn Fisher again, lofting that one up in the middle, but one-handed swing that time by Ella Dahl. Great effort. Now far post. This is Leeser and out of bounds. Leeser, no accuracy on that hit. Gave it all the power, but it's 12 to 9. Mimi Bukers coming back in for Ella Dahl. Alora Dahl to serve in the back row, deep in the back row. With the signature jump serve on the far sideline. Line, line drive in the corner, Jaeger digs that one out. Weller trying to get to it, but blocked that time by Bukers. The Jaguars reset, but now they send it right back over to the Tigers. Down the middle, Bristow, down in the near corner for a kill. Boy, Cassidy Bristow really showing out. Kill number five in the match, number four here in the set. Laura Dahl with her third set assist, 12 to 10. Our score, Laura Dahl, another jump serve is Jaeger. Setting that one up, this is Leeser, and that's blocked, but out of bounds. Point for Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa. Hagen coming in for Jaeger. 13 to 10, Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa leads. Weller is gonna be the one to serve for the Jaguars. Near sideline, goes down the middle, Bristow. Or excuse me, that is uh, Nap digging that one out as Hanneken trying to slam that one down, but a lift by BBE. Couple of Jaguars there, couldn't quite tell who it was. That got caught for the lift, but a point for Pine River back is 13-11. Kalen Riley to serve in the far corner. Line drive, Dieters, the libero playing it. Weller and trying to get that one up and that's gonna be a whistle and that's gonna be a lift on Brooklyn Fisher. 13 to 12, and again, back and forth action here in set number two. Caitlin Riley, far sideline to serve again. This time a short one, but Dieters able to run up on it. Near post, Fisher falling back, but able to get it over. Laura Dahl for Bristow, and Casey Fisher reading it for Brooklyn Fisher, but great awareness on the back row by Riley. Boy, she's been all over the place tonight. Now this is Brooklyn Fisher, blocked that time by Bristow. Dahl setting it up for Bukers, who's just gonna set that one over and a miss hit by Dieterson out of bounds. We're tied at 13. Boy, Caitlin Riley has been a point saver tonight, especially here in this set for Pine River Bacchus. 13 all here in set number two. Back and forth action again, great way to start the season. And a miss hit, and that's gonna be an ace. Casey Fisher not able to corral that one as she was trying to set that one up. Riley with a good line drive serve for the ace. It's gonna be Riley again. And another race, back-to-back -back aces for Riley. 15 to 13, Tigers in front. Starting to get some momentum. Now we got a timeout, Alana Hunter wants to have a word with her squad, but the Tigers come out roaring here in set number two, 15 to 13, they lead. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95 and yourliveevent.com. Hanneken Insurance Agency is proud to support today's coverage. Hanneken Insurance has been serving families and businesses in central Minnesota for over 30 years. By working with an independent agency like Hanneken Insurance, the process of finding insurance that is appropriate for your goals and budget is simplified. Contact Hanneken Insurance Agency in Pine River, Little Falls, Piers, or Brainerd online at hannekeninsurance.com. Let Hanneken Insurance give you the peace of mind that comes from knowing your financial situation is secure. Welcome back to the action. Set number two here in Pine River back is high school volleyball and cash 95 and simulcasting on your live event.com. 15 to 13, Pine River Bacchus here leads in set number two. And Emmett, what's impressed you the most for the Tigers here in set number two? I mean, just their back line. They're keeping plays alive, giving their team the opportunity to get some points here. And just the quality of the two opponents we have here that the biggest lead in this game has been four points at one point. So just so much back and forth. It's really high quality volleyball. And as a reminder, it is Pine River Bacchus with the serve. Kaylin Riley, back-to-back -back aces, looking to do some more damage as Riley the libero is gonna serve on the far sideline. 
Line drive serve, played by Casey Fisher. Now setting up near post as Brooklyn Fisher. Hits that one, did not take a deflection, so it is out of bounds. Four straight points for Pine River Bacchus. Riley again, she's been on a roll here in this set, saving multiple points for the Tigers as she lofts that one over. Far post, and that was blocked. Hagen trying to knock that one down. Brianna Hanneken as that took a deflection at the net. Dieters setting that one up near post. Fisher out of bounds on the back row. 17 to 13, Pine River Bacchus starting to pull away. BBE has won four straight matches against the Tigers, sweeping them a year ago, winning three nothing and two to nothing. The Tigers look to take a set and tie this match up and not able to get over on the third hit. 18 to 13. It was once 13 to 12 lead for Belgrade Brutonel Rosa, now an 18 to 13 lead. So Riley serves again, Weller. Lofting that up far post, Hagen, and just out of bounds in the near corner. Good power and just not enough on the placement. Seven nothing run by Pine River Bacchus. Faith Rodermacher seeing action for the first time. For Belgrade, Brutonel Rosa, we do have another score update in Wadena. We'll get that to you when we have a moment. Fisher, that's a well-placed hit. As Brooklyn Fisher on the far sideline gets the kill. Score update, another uh, Pequot Lakes set, but a close one. 25 to 23, Pequot Lakes taking set number two against Wadena Deer Creek. They lead the match two to nothing as a whistle. And an infringement that time by Pine River Bacchus, so it's 19 to 15. You can hear the Pequot Lakes Wadena Deer Creek game on KLKS Talk 100.1. 19 to 15. Belgrade Brutonel Rosa serving as the Tigers have the lead. And now, Coach Fisher for Pine River Bacchus. Or excuse me, uh, Hershey, excuse me, Josh Hershey. Having a word with the umpire, seeing what the infringement was for, but we play on. Brooklyn Fisher is gonna be the one to serve as now all referees are just double checking things, but here we go, Brooklyn Fisher gonna be the one to serve. And uh, it's gonna be out of bounds on the far sideline, right into the crowd. 20 to 15, Pine River Bacchus. Chance to maybe close things out here if they get on a good run as Knapp comes out. Megan Irish back in. Cassidy Bristow served down the middle. And now she goes far corner, or near corner, excuse me, but disposition that time is it gonna be a point for Belgrade Boutonel Rosa, 20 to 16. A couple of subs coming in. Ocha Bruns now coming in to serve as out is gonna be Rodemaker. Avery Sawyer back in for Pine River Bacchus. And now it's gonna be a serve out of bounds. Boy, the serving has been a bit of a struggle for the Jaguars here in this set, 21 to 16. Pine River Bacchus leading in this one. Roger Bruns out, Dieters coming in. Also out is Leeser. It's gonna be Bukers to serve, Dieters taking that one out in the back row. Near post, Fisher, that gets down. May have took a deflection at the net, but it's gonna be a kill nonetheless. Or excuse me, looks like that did, uh, yeah, that did take a deflection, it seemed, or will point to a Pine River Bacchus. So 22 to 16, spoke too soon that time, shaking off the rust here in set uh, game number one. Casey Fisher, that's a hit into the net, that's undisputed, 23 to 16, Pine River Bacchus. Oh, two points away from closing this one out and tying the match. Bukers, line drive serve, Dieter. And not able to get to it. Miscommunication between Hagen and Dieters. 24 to 16, set point for the Tigers. Bukers to serve. Line drive, Dieters, and that is gonna be out of bounds on the miss hit. Air on Dieters and the Tigers. Takes set number two, 25 to 16. 
as we are tied at one here in the match. We got a good one here in store for you. Two teams that made the Class A State Tournament a year ago. Back and forth action. We are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about set number two, preview number three as we get things rolling here in Pine River Bacchus. Tied at one here in our match, 25 to 16. Pine River Bacchus taking set number two. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95 and yourliveevent.com. Save on your groceries and gas each week just by shopping at Pequot Lakes Super Value on Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Shop your locally owned Pequot Lakes Super Value for quality, service, and freshness. Enjoy delicious daily deli specials around the Stone Hearth Fireplace, convenience on-site pharmacy, and the freshest meats and produce. Save on gas, too. Earn 10 cents of savings on gas for every $100 spent on groceries. Pequot Lakes Super Value, Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Good luck, area teams. Pine River Dental Arts is committed to the small town feel of your local dentist while providing top-notch dentistry like general dental care for all ages to help you have the healthiest mouth possible. And they offer same-day crowds. Pine River Dental Arts is happy to welcome Dr. Tony Sauer to the dental arts team. Make your appointment at Pine River Dental Arts on Park Avenue in downtown Pine River or call 587-4437. Feeling like patients are like family. Great people, economic viability, a wonderful place to live. Pine River, Bacchus, and PRB Schools. PRB Schools is a small school district with large district opportunities, providing activities and classes that involve students, making sure every student has everything to be successful. PRB Schools also offers a variety of community ed programs, a great way to learn new skills hands-on with others within the community, making connections with families, being involved with the community, becoming a community family. PRBSchools.org. Welcome back to the action. Set number two coming to a close. Pine River back is taking that one 25 to 16. We're tied at one here in the match. And, you know, I mean, it seemed that Pine River Bacchus got a lot more consistency on the attack there in set number two. Yeah, got a lot more consistency with their attack. And it helped that they got a 7-0 run in that set to really start pull away and put the pressure on Belgrade, Brute, and Arosa. And, again, both sets, Pine River Bacchus has had a good start to the sets. If they can keep that going in the right direction. They can find themselves victorious for the first time in uh, four tries against Belgrade, Brute, and Arosa. As Belgrade, Brute, and Arosa taking set number one, 25 to 23. Set two going in favor of Pine River back is 25 to 16. On the court for BBE, looks like Dieters the libero is getting ready to come in for someone, but it is Brooklyn Fisher, as well as Casey Fisher, as Hayter is gonna be the one to come out. Weller in there. Hagen and Leeser for the Jaguars. Bristow, Champ, Alora Dahl, Caitlin Riley coming in for Brianna Hanneken. Riley had a very good set number two. In that back row, it's Alora Dahl, Madeline Knapp, Caitlin Riley. In the front, it is Ashley Champ, Ella Dahl, and Cassidy Bristow. Belgrade, Brutel, Rosa to serve, going left to right for our radio listeners, and here we go. It's Weller to serve, Riley digging that one out. Setting up far sideline, Champ, a little touch on that one, but right into the net. one nothing Belgrade, Brutin, El Rosa. So, you know, for Riley, keep an eye on her. She made a many point-saving digs in that second set as Weller lofting that one up far sideline. Alora Dahl able to react to it. Now setting it back up to her as she takes the hit. But Casey Fisher, Able to dig that one out, and that's going to be a kill on the far post. As Hagen getting her first kill of the set. So we are tied at one. Or excuse me, uh, two nothing, excuse me. Weller to serve again in the middle as Nat plays that one. And not able to get to it is Ella on the far post. So that's going to be an ace for Weller. It is three to nothing. Belgrade Brute and El Rosa. Now they're getting off to the hot starts. Yeah, what a response from Belgrade Brute and El Rosa. They finished the last set kind of poorly and off to a great start here in the third. So Laura Dahl plays it off the serve on the far corner. Champ slamming that one, but now Brooklyn Fisher to hit it, and she is going to knock that one down. Boy, Brooklyn Fisher. She was all all Central Minnesota Conference a season ago, showing her stuff. Four to nothing Jaguars. 
Short serve, Riley digging that one out on the near sideline. Now near post, Bristow as that took a deflection. As Hagen tried to block that one, Bristow with the kill. Four to one as the Tigers are on the board here in set number three. As Ella Dahl is gonna come out, Brianna Hanneken in. Deflection off the serve, Dieter's digging that one out and Brooklyn Fisher just has to bump that one over. Now far post as Hanneken with the kill. A little bit of finesse on that hit that time. Laura Dahl getting the set assist, four to two. So Laura Dahl serving again for the Tigers, going right to left on your radio dial. Jump serve, far sideline, down the middle, Brooklyn Fisher playing it. Now setting that one is Weller. Bristow, as Hanneken just setting that one over. Weller, far post, hit by Hagen, and then did that take a deflection? It did, as Caitlin Riley just getting the palms of her hands to that one as that goes out of bounds. It's five to two now, Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa back on top. Well, they still holding on to their lead as they get the ball back. Fisher, oh, and not what she wanted on that serve. Seen the missed timer jump that time as it goes right into that, so right back to Pine River back is five to three. Jaguars lead, Riley to serve. On the far corner. Line drive, it's Weller setting up that far post. Hagen as that's Slammed hard as Riley. A couple of errors for her in this set as that's out of bounds, six to three. Belgrade Brutonel Rosa leads. It's gonna be Leeser. Serving for the Jaguars. Line drive down the middle. Riley plays that one cleanly. Now in the middle, this is gonna be uh, Bukers. That was blocked. Gets down. Bukers with the kill. Six to four, your score. As Dieter's coming in for Leeser. Out is Nat, back in is Avery Sawyer. Bristow to serve, far corner. Now near post for the Jaguars as that's hit by Hagen, but that's out of bounds on the near sideline, heading towards the Pine River back is bench. Tigers cut it to one, six to five here in set number three. Jaguars on top. Bristow again, line drive down the middle, Dieters the libero plays it. It's out of bounds as Hagen able to bump it as Fisher looking to get things reset. Now here's Buker's far post, took a deflection, and that is gonna be a point for Pine River Bacchus. Does that hit the net that time? One of the players, six to six, our score. Seems that the Tigers have been able to get on some key runs to get back in these ball games. And now here we go, Bristow to serve. Hagen now, far post. This is gonna be Casey Fisher and a wicked hit. Nothing Bristow could do as that just deflected off of her arm. Seven to six, BBE back on top. Jaeger in for Hagen as she's gonna be the one to serve. Jaeger to the middle, Bristow. Setting up to Dahl who's gonna set. Now hit that time by Hanneken and dug out by Jaeger. Fisher hitting that one over, Riley with another dig. Near post. Sawyer not able to get a, enough on that one. Is Brooklyn Fisher able to that time? And that goes right down in the back row for a kill. Boy, Brooklyn Fisher, we've seen a good mix of her hits, whether it's power and accuracy, you saw both on that one. Eight to six, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa leads. A key set number three as we are tied at one here in the match. Bugers plays it off the serve. Near post, Sawyer miss hitting that one. Nine to six, Jaguars lead. Now the air starting to pile up here. Four Pine River Bacchus here in set number three. Jaeger, line drive, near corner, Riley plays it. Down in the middle, Hanneken, and oh, what a beauty on the hit. Down just near the uh, near sideline, nine to seven. Pine River Bacchus gets a point back. Nap coming in for Sawyer. Or excuse me, Ariana Burns seeing action for the first time. That's gonna be served up by Bukers. Here come the Jaguars. Looking for a good hit that time as Hader. Not able to get all of it on that one. Here's Burns, hard hit, but dug out by Fisher in the middle. Now Riley setting things up. In the middle, Hanneken lofting that one over, but Weller there for the Jaguars. Far post. 
Dug out by Bristow on the hit, but no one there. As that falls right at the claw of the logo. And it's now 10 to seven Jaguars. Hader is out, back in is Leezer. Peters to serve the libero, line drive, and right into the net. So right back to Pine River back is 10 to eight. Our score, Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa leads here in set number three, tied at one here in the match. As Riley comes out, Ella Dahl back in. Anakin to serve, line drive, played by Leezer. Now far post as Brooklyn Fisher down again. Brooklyn Fisher. Key component for the Jaguar squad that made it to the state tournament, finishing fourth place as Burns is out, and now Knapp is back in for the Tigers. It's gonna be the Jaguars serve. Casey Fisher, line drive, Riley high in the air. The Tigers able to read it as Alora Dahl. Just a little bit of touch on that one as she lifted that one up, but it does get down nine to 11 as the Tigers trail. Megan Irish coming in for Knapp as Irish is going to be the one to serve. Alora Dahl getting credit for the kill. And here's Irish. Hard serve and not able to find the corner on the near side. So that is just out of bounds. 12 to 9 the score. As now Irish is out. Back in is Knapp. Hagen in for Jaeger. Weller. Jump serve, line drive, played in the back row, Bristow, or excuse me, a uh, nap. Now this is Bristow in the near post, and Dieter's digging that one out, but that's going right into the crowd on the far side. So 12 to 10, again, still back and forth action, no team really able to pull away. Bukers in for Ella Dahl. Alora Dahl is gonna be the one to serve. Standing way back there is, she'll have the jump serve near sideline. Line drive in the middle, Fisher plays it. Off that one over. Weller, now here come the Tigers. Irish, or excuse me, Buker's taking a hit and digging that one out. Was Hagen, but no one there on the near post. So 12 to 11, and now the Tigers looking to get on a run. 12 11, BBE leads. Laura Dahl, jump serve in the middle. Casey Fisher setting up to Weller, near post. Fisher, but right there is Knapp. On the back row, Riley taking a swing as Weller. Setting that one up. But now the Jaguars, not much going on the attack that time as that's bumped over. Now near post as that's lofted up by Bukers, dug out by Weller. Now in the middle, Dieters, near post. That's hit by uh, Leiser, but blocked that time by a couple of Tigers. That's gonna hit right into the net, Hagen. Not quite what she wanted, 12 to 12 our score, Alora Dahl. We're gonna keep things rolling for the Tigers. Jump serve, near sideline, line drive. Dug out, Casey Fisher now lofted up as trying to underhand that one is Brooklyn Fisher and the Tigers. We're taking the lead for the first time here in the set. 13 to 12, Tigers on top. It's all again, jump serve as that's lofted. Now setting up, Hagen on the far post. Riley able to dig that one out. One hit by Bukers, and Laura Dahl able to clean up the mess. Weller in the middle, Brooklyn Fisher, Riley with the dig. And it's gonna be a point. As you've seen that Fisher was under the net that time, and it is 14 to 12. And now we got a timeout by Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa. The Tigers storming here. In set number three, they lead 14 to 12. We're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll continue the action here. But we're, you're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95 and yourliveevent.com. The PRB Boosters are happy to sponsor coverage of the Tigers. Like them on Facebook for events and fundraisers. The PRB Boosters could use your help. Be part of great events and fundraisers, all built to give back and present more opportunities for the students of Pine River Bacchus schools. For information or to get started, Email prbboosterclub1.com. Meetings are the first Monday of every month at 6 p.m. at the school. Good luck, Tigers, from the PRB Boosters. Bringing the action back to you, 14-12. Pine River Bacchus 
Huge surge here in set number three. We are tied at one here in the match between Belgrade Brutonel Rosa and Pine River Bacchus. Noah Caruso and Emmett Kenny bringing the action to you. Emmett, how confident are you feeling in doing a set in this, ma in this match? Uh, the confidence for doing a set, probably not the <laughs> highest, but it's the same point in set two where Pine River Bacchus went on a little bit of a run, was able to pull away from Belgrade Bruton and Rosa. We'll see if they can do that here in the third set. It's gonna be a Laura Dahl serving right to left on your radio dial for Pine River Bacchus, and she'll get the ace. Laura Dahl, that is her third ace here in the match. Looking to go again, 15 to 12, Tigers lead. As Dieters plays that one, punched out by Weller. As Dahl setting that one over, Dieters playing it beautifully. Now Brooklyn Fisher, that's blocked by Bristow. But hit again, as that's gonna be a point for Belgrade Brutonel Rosa, knocking it down is Leeser. It's now 15 to 13. We just haven't seen either team really just make a big gap. As Hader coming in for Dieters, it is going to be Brooklyn Fisher to serve. Line drive in and the net. So right back to Pine River Bacchus. They lead 16 to 13. Brian Hanneken coming in for Ashley Champ. It's going to be Caitlin Riley. The one to serve the libero. On the far sideline. Weller near post as Leeser. Not fooling him that time as set up by Bristow. Now the Jaguars are going to get some attack going. Here is Hader that's blocked at the net. Bukers out of Dahl setting up far post. Hanneken that's blocked again but that it gets down on the BBE side. 17-13 Pine River Backus leads. Caitlin Riley again. And behind her back has gotten their 7 0 run in set number two to take it. Caitlin Riley was the key component as she was the one serving. A player under the net. That's going to be a point for Pine River back is 18 to 13. It's now Alana Hunter in her fifth year with the Jaguars. Two state appearances as head coach. Having a word with the referee, not liking the call that time. 18 to 13, Tigers starting to pull away. And a crucial set number three. So we're tied at one here in the match. Riley, wanted serve, dug out by Casey Fisher. Now far post, Hagen, Riley again, right where she needs to be. Now near post, slammed that time by Bukers, but there to dig it out. Brooklyn Fisher now far post again. Hagen not able to get the power on that hit, but they reset on the attack. Here's Leeser. Now Hanneken back to her. She sets that one up as that's lofted up, almost hitting the basketball net, but just able to stay in play. Brooklyn Fisher bumping that one over. Dahl, near post, a little touch by Bristow as that gets down. 19 to 13, Pine River Backus. Starting to smell it here in set number three. Riley, serve near sideline. Weller, the near post, hard hit by Leeser, and that's exactly what the Jaguars needed trying to crawl back into this one as that was well hit that time by Leeser. Again, first to 25, takes the set. First to three, wins in the match, takes it. Dahl, now to the near post, at, or far post, excuse me, but Bristow miss hitting that one. Belgrade Brutino Rosa starting to get a couple of points back. 19 to 15. Pine River back is still leads. Leeser. They still plays that in the far corner. Now in the middle, Hanneken. Touch pass as that's Wheeler. Or we uh, Weller, excuse me. But hard hit. That's out of bounds. Casey Fisher. Not the placement she wanted that time. 20 to 15. Knapp is out. Back in is Avery Sawyer. It's going to be Pine River Backus's serve. Cassidy Bristow, the one to take it. It's going to serve to the near sideline. Hagen. That is not what the Jaguars wanted offensively, as hitting it over is Brooklyn Fisher. Now in the middle, here's Hanneken. Set up that time by Weller. Here's Casey Fisher, but not the power she wanted, as Jaguars not really able to set up the way they want, but block, but right back to the Tigers. Near post, hit by Irish, dug out by Dieters. Now in the middle, Weller. Tigers on the attack, far post, and that's gonna be out of bounds. Mimi Bukers 
All right, see me, Ashley Champ on the far sideline. 20 to 16. Belgrade Bruton El Rose looking to get on a run. Yeager back in for Hagen. And Brooklyn Fisher trying to catch him sleeping that time. Hannigan with the hit and down. Brandon Hannigan. Boy, she's had a few quality hits in this one. And, you know, last year with Hannigan, they wanted to set her up a lot last year, but it seems she's just got more power with her swings this year. 21 to 16, Pine River Backus on the verge. Bukers setting that one over. Weller, but right back to Bukers in the middle. Near post, hard hit, out of bounds by Sawyer on the far corner. 21 to 17, and you just feel that the Jaguars have been able to get on runs here in this match as Ella Dahl coming in for Bukers. Hader is out, back in, it's Leeser. Dieter's the one to serve, in the middle played. Far post, Hanneken blocked down, another kill for Brianna Hanneken, as she's gonna be the one to serve. Ariana Burns getting set to come back in for Pine River Backus. Sawyer is gonna be the player out. So here we go with Brianna Hanneken. That's gonna be a long serve, heading to that far corner as Brooklyn Fisher, not enough touch on that hit. 23 to 17, the Tigers are smelling it here in a big set number three. As Hanneken looking for a chance to potentially close things out. Hanneken, line drive serve. Weller in the middle, now sitting up in the near post. That was deflected, Hanneken. In the back row, playing it beautifully. Ariana Burns hitting that one over, but the Jaguars were ready. Now far post, and that's gonna be blocked and down. Casey Fisher getting credit for the kill, so they will not go away. Burns coming out, in is Madeline Knapp. Casey Fisher. The one to serve for the Jaguars. Line drive, Riley digging that one out. As Bit of a touch by the Jaguars that time, but Riley hitting that one over. And now that's out of bounds. Or excuse me, it looks like that is, uh, took a deflection. It looked like it just had eyes for out of bounds, but deflection somewhere in the front. So that is gonna be a point for Belgrade Bruton El Rosa, 24 to 18. And again, set point here for Pine River Backus. Dylan Riley taking that out and miss hip. Miscommunication between her and Alora Dahl, but here come the Jaguars, deflected out of bounds. Brooklyn Fisher getting another kill, and the Jaguars not going away quietly. 23 to 20. Another standout performance by Brooklyn Fisher. All conference season to go. Casey Fisher is going to serve back row, line drive. They're still on the near sideline. This is Champ Miss hitting that one. And it's 23 to 21. And Josh Hershey is gonna take a timeout. The Jaguars making things interesting here in set number three, 23-21. As they did correct the score, I thought it was 23 points for Pine River back as they did correct it, but still we got a good one here in Pine River. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95 and yourliveevent.com. This year, Shrupp Excavating is celebrating 40 years of digging it right. With this milestone year, Shrupp Excavating wants to thank all of their past, current, and future employees and customers. They appreciate all you've done to help Shrupp Excavating become one of the most trusted companies in the Lakes area. For any excavation project, Shrupp Excavating will have your project done right and on time. Serving Pine River, Bacchus, Pequot Lakes, and all the surrounding communities. Shrupp Excavating, LLC. Online at ShruppExcavating.com. Welcome back to the action. Intense set number three. Match tied at one here between Belgrade, Brutonel, Rosa, and Pine River back is 23-21. Tigers in front, but a run here by Belgrade, Brutonel, Rosa. We do have a final score over in Wadena Deer Creek. Pequot Lakes 25-17 in set three. They get the sweep over Wadena Deer Creek, the second ranked team in class AA to start off the year. Playing in the state championship game a season ago. And here we go, the Jaguars serving left to right and into the net. Now, it is set point for the Tigers. 24 to 21. 
as Hershey making a last minute adjustment here. It's going to be Megan Irish with a chance to close things out as she is in for Madeline Knapp. Irish who mixes her serves between line drives as that's going to be a line drive serve. Jaeger playing it on the far sideline. Leeser took a deflection. Riley able to play it. Now in the middle, Bristow gets down. Set point for Pine River back is 25 to 21. As they take set number three, they lead the match two to one with a chance to claim it in the next set. We are gonna take a break. When we come back, we will have a brief recap of set number three for you. Get you get ready for set number four as Pine River Backus leads the match two to one. They take set number three, 25 to 21. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Catch 95 and yourliveevent.com. Restock on food, fuel, and baits at locally owned Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Station 371 has bait and tackle, quality Senex gasoline, off-road diesel, and is the only stop with number one diesel. Make sure to stop by to wash off the sand and salt with their indoor car wash. Open when the temp is at least 26 degrees. They'll hook you up with your fishing and hunting licenses too. Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Thank you for supporting local business. I'm dreaming of a world where the crack of a bat is not just a hobby, but a lifestyle. Where I can build upon long traditions from the ground up. I want to work in an industry where all people can make their own field of dreams become reality. I'm going to elevate the world of sports someday. Do something fun and make new friends. Join a bowling league at Community Bowl and Pizzeria in Pine River. Community Bowl and Pizzeria has openings for all leagues, men's, women's, mixed, youth, seniors, and also Special Olympics. Enjoy some friendly competition and have a great time. Food specials offered on all league nights. Don't forget Moonlight Bowling every Saturday evening. For information on leagues or to sign up, call or stop into Community Bowl and Pizzeria in downtown Pine River. 218-587-3100. We are expecting a great match here today for high school volleyball to start off the season. Belgrade Brutonel Rosa and Pine River back is PRB taking set number three, 25 to 21. They lead the match two to one with a chance to claim it. And you know, Emmett, what was some of the biggest things that you saw that really uh, was, was that worked well for Pine River Bacchus? Oh, they, you know, they didn't start the set very well, but they did what they did in the set number two, and that was go on a big run in the middle of the set to kind of put all the pressure on Belgrade Brute and Arosa. Belgrade Brute and Arosa went on a little run at the end, but a key timeout by uh, Pine River Bacchus kind of killed their momentum and put the set away. And, you know, it seems that between every single set, it's, it's been a match of runs so far. And from everything that you've seen, what do you, do you think is going to be the biggest factor here in set number four for a team, to whether it's pulling away or to get some consistent momentum? I, in the all three sets, it's been the middle part of the set that's been the deciding factor. And the team that's gone on the run in the middle part of the set, they've won all the sets so far. So I think the key here is not necessarily how you start the set, but how are you getting in the middle to kind of get the mindset of we're going to put this thing away and... For Pine River Backus, win the set, match is over, and for Belgrade Brute and Arosa, trying to extend this to a fifth set here. As we reset here, on the court for Pine River Backus, looks like Caitlin Riley is getting ready to come back in. Boy, she's had a great game in the back row. Looks like she is coming in for potentially Brianna Hannigan, but we shall see. Dieters on the court for BBE, as well as Jaeger, Leeser in the front row. It is both Brooklyn and Casey Fisher and Weller. For Pine River Backus, Alora Dahl to serve to get things going for the Tigers. And the jump serve, and here we go with set number four. Weller in the middle, Brooklyn Fisher blocked, but Alora Dahl able to clean it up. Now in the middle, Cassie Bristow, a touch lift that time, and oh, great awareness that time by Brooklyn Fisher, hitting it with the one hand. That's gonna be a whistle and a point for Pine River Backus. Net infringement that time, one nothing Pine River Backus. On the court for PRB, serving right to left on your radio dial for our radio listeners. It's gonna be Alora Dahl, Adeline Knapp, Caitlin Riley in the front row. We have Ella Dahl as the serve is over. 
And it is Champ as well as Bukers. And now here is Champ trying to get a touch that time, but cleaning it up, Casey Fisher. She's been active all over the court tonight, tied at one here in set number four. And what's on the, the line here in the set? If Pine River Bacchus takes it, they'll win the match and move to four and one on the season. And for BBE, as they are on the attack, here is Fisher with the touch. As that falls right near the logo, two to one as the Jaguars lead. The Jaguars need to win this set to send it to a fifth. And in that fifth set, of course, it is first to 15 win by two points. Here we go, 2-1 Jaguars lead. Jump serve that time down the middle. Laura Dahl setting up for Bristow, cleaned up that time. AC Fisher, now near far post. These are looking to get a swing that time, and now near post this time for Bukers. And in the back row, cleaned up beautifully by the Jaguars. But now, Champ bumping that one up, but not what, what they liked as Bukers sets that one over. Now in the middle. Hit that time hard, but Laura Dahl with the clean up in the middle. Fisher, out of Weller. Brooklyn Fisher, hit blocked by Bristow. Bristow again, blocked by Fisher. Back and forth action in that front row. Bukers deflection and dug out by Jaeger. Now far post and out of bounds. Boy, what a rally that time. Two to two the score as Jaeger hitting that one a tad too hard. Two to two our score. Caitlin Riley coming in to serve. On the far corner. Libero, she's been living up to that name so far in this match. In the middle, Brooklyn Fisher, touch hit that time, but on the far post. Chicken winning at that time, Weller, but now Brooklyn Fisher bumps that one over. Now here come the Tigers on the attack. Dahl setting up near post for Bukers, hit hard, but out of bounds on the back row. The lead goes right back to Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa. Jaeger is out, Hagen is in. Weller is gonna be the one to serve. Three to two, Jaguars in front here in set number four. Jump serve in the middle, Riley bumping that one up. Not exactly where they want it is in the middle, Bukers sets that one over. Weller in the middle, hard hit, and that's gonna be another kill for Brooklyn Fisher. She's got 11 kills in the match. Four to two, Belgrade Bruton El Rosa leads. Weller again, near sideline. Line drive, serve in the middle, Riley plays it. Dahl now far post, Bristow answers right back with a kill of her own. Cassidy Bristow, the junior. She's got nine kills here in the match. Ariana Burns coming in for Madeline Knapp. Cassie Bristow to serve in the middle. Four to three, Jaguars lead. That's played by AC Fisher. Now that's gonna be Hagen on the far post, but Burns able to play that one. Locked at the net. Tigers reset, Hanneken. Peters digging that one out. Far post again, Hagen this time connects. Slamming that one in the middle. Five to three, the Jaguars extend their lead. It's Brooklyn Fisher now. He's had an impressive game here. Impressive match, I should say. But now in the middle, Hanneken hitting that one hard, far sideline, but Brooklyn Fisher there. Now far post, Hagen, little touch pass, but Laura Dahl able to dig that one out. Hanneken slamming that one, but dug out by Weller. Now in the middle, Hagen, Riley able to run up on in the middle. Now Hanneken, that's blocked and not able to get it back over. Point to Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa, six to three, Jaguars in front. As it's going to be Brooklyn Fisher, serving again. Our sideline, Bukers plays it as, oh, hit, and Hader is gonna get credit for the kill. And we've seen the Hanneken just was not quite ready for it. Seven to three, the score, but we've seen a lot of momentum shifts between all the sets, as Emmett alluded to. It seems that middle ground, that middle portion of the set is what's really decided it so far as Hanneken hits that one over, but it's an infringement. Net infringement for Belgrade Brutinel Rosa, seven to four. 
BBE leads. Pine River Bacchus will get the chance to serve again. Here we go with Bukers. Line drive, serve. Brooklyn Fisher playing it. And now miscommunication, but hitting it over, Leeser. Dahl, Burns near post, blocked by Hader. And that is gonna be a point for Belgrade Brutinel Rosa as hit the pole there on the near side of the post. Eight to four, Belgrade Brutinel Rosa leads. Leeser will be the one to serve in the middle. Lofted serve that time as Bristow plays it on the far corner and no one able to get to it. As Ella Dahl set that one up high in the air, no Tiger home that time. That's gonna be an ace. Or Leeser, nine to four. Belgrade Brutinel Rosa looking to force a fifth set. Dahl setting that one over, great dig, Weller. As Casey Fisher on the far post, slamming that one down in the near sideline for the kill, 10 to four. Belgrade Brutinel Rosa leads. Josh Hershey with the timeout. Here in a pivotal set four, 10 to four. Belgrade Brutinel Rosa leads. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95 and your live event.com. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic in Pine River is proud to support radio coverage of our area athletes. No matter the sport, they salute the kids and coaches for all their dedication and wish them all the best of luck. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic thanks all the coaches, staff, and volunteers for taking the time to provide our area kids plenty of opportunities. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic is located east of Pine River on County Road 1, providing compassionate small animal care for your beloved pets. Off the Josh Hershey timeout for Pine River Bacchus. It is set four. Tigers lead the match two to one, but Belgrade Brutinel Rosa leads this set 10 to four. Noah Caruso and Emma Kenny, glad you're taking the time to join us for our first volleyball broadcast of the year. You're on Cash95 and your live event.com. And Emmett, it's lived up to the hype that we set for it. Oh, it 100% has lived up to the hype. It's been back and forth, a game of runs. And Belgrade Brutinel Rosa, a good response after the falling the last couple sets. Leaser to serve for BBE, going left to right for our radio listeners. And again, hitting that one right into the net on the near post, or far post, excuse me, 11 to four. Belgrade Brunel Rosa leads, starting to pull away. Still early here in the set, but starting to gain that momentum that we talked about. Off the serve, here is Burns, blocked. But it is an infringement that time, as that's gonna be a point for Pine River Bacchus. So they'll get it back, 11 to five, Jaguars lead. Leeser is out, Dieters is back in. Hannigan to serve for the Tigers. Lofted serve, goes out of bounds on the back row. 12 to five. Now is Kalen Riley coming back in for Hannigan. Burns is out, Knapp is in. as She sets up in the far corner. Jaeger is also in, coming in for Hagen as Jaeger will be the one to serve. Line drive, near corner, Bristow plays it. Dahl setting up in the middle as Dahl again setting up to hit it, but dug out that time by Casey Fisher. He's gonna take a swing now and blocks. Well, Laura Dahl getting good height that time, 12 to six. Pine River Vakis looking to get on a run. Ariana Burns coming in for Madeline Knapp and she's gonna be the one to serve, setting up Far corner. Good line drive serve to the near corner. Jaeger plays it. Far post. Now here come the Tigers. That's going to be Bristow as fell back trying to hit that one. So not getting all the power she wanted as Hader. So that's dug out by Ella Dahl, but no one able to corral it in that front row. Miscommunication between Pine River back is 13 to 6. Elgrade Brutinel Rosa leads Champ, or excuse me, uh, Burns is out as Knapp is back in. Dieters to serve for the Jaguars. Serving far sideline. Laura Dahl not fooled, but now it's a whistle and an infringement double hit that time by the Tigers. 14 to six and Belgrade Brutinel Rosa really starting to pull away here in set number four. Looking to force a fifth set. Line drive served by Dieters on the far corner. Now in the middle, this is gonna be Champ. One arm hit by 
Casey Fisher, but a whistle and a double hit by Belgrade Brutinel Rosa this time. 14 to seven as Mimi Buchers coming back in for Ella Dahl. It's gonna be her sister, Alora Dahl. She's had a great matchup to this point. Is gonna serve deep in the back row. That's gonna be a line drive serve. Now in far post, Brooklyn Fisher. It's gonna be a dig by Knapp and trying to loft that one over Buchers, but just not getting enough power as that goes into the net. 15 to seven, Belgrade Brutinel Rosa. Leads here in set number four. Great crowd on hand. Student sections filled up. You can feel the energy in the building. Now, setting that one over, and now is able to take advantage. Hagen, seeing that there was no one playing in that back row, Hagen's gonna get the kill. And now a whistle and another timeout by Josh Hershey. 16 to seven, Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa looking to take set number four to force a fifth set. We're gonna take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95.9 and yourliveevent.com. Hannikin Insurance Agency is proud to support today's coverage. Hannikin Insurance has been serving families and businesses in central Minnesota for over 30 years. By working with an independent agency like Hannikin Insurance, the process of finding insurance that is appropriate for your goals and budget is simplified. Contact Hannikin Insurance Agency in Pine River, Little Falls, Piers, or Brainerd online at hannikininsurance.com. Let Hannikin Insurance give you the peace of mind that comes from knowing your financial situation is secure. Welcome back. Noah Caruso, Emmett Kenny here with you. Our first volleyball broadcast of the season has been a good one, but Belgrade Brutonel Rosa starting to pull away here in set number four. As Pine River Bacchus leads the match two to one. 16 to seven, BBE leads. Here in our opening volleyball broadcast showcase, two teams that made it to the state tournament in class A a year ago. Belgrade Brutonel Rosa finishing fourth. And that's gonna be an ace. Casey Fisher, able to slam that one down in the middle. It's now a 10 point lead for the Jaguars. 17 to seven, it's Fisher. We'll do it again. Jump serve, oh, line drive, but Bristow able to play it. Dahl now setting up in the middle. Bristow took a block, but able to get it over is Brooklyn Fisher. Now in the middle again, Bristow, that's gonna be a kill as Jaeger, too hard for her to corral it. 17 to eight. We've seen the Tigers, Emmett, be able to get on some runs. So you know, even with the nine point lead, you still expect the Tigers to find a way back into it. Yeah, they're getting find a way back in it. They've, in the middle part of the set, have really gone on runs. So let's see if they can put a run together, put some pressure on Belgrade, Brute, and Arosa. And off the hit by Brooklyn Fisher. The Tigers on the attack now. Set over that time by Bristow. As now, Madeline Knapp. We tried to serve it up, no one in that far corner, or far post, I should say. It's back to a 10 point lead for the Jaguars. Hagen in for Jaeger. It's 18 to eight, Belgrade Brutino Rosa here in set number four. Weller, line drive. Riley plays it. Now far post, Bristow dug out by Fisher. Brooklyn Fisher now trying to lop that one over and that gets down, Brooklyn Fisher. With the finesse hit that time, caught Alora Dahl sleeping that time. 19 to eight, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa flexing their muscle here in the fourth set. Line drive serve, Riley digs that one out. Now in the middle, Hannigan, touch hit, but not able to find a home that time. Brooklyn Fisher trying to send that one back, but now here come the Tigers as Bristow hits that one over and deflected out of bounds by the Jaguars. So back to a 10 point lead for Belgrade Brutonel Rosa. Burns coming in for nap, 19 to nine, Jaguars lead. Cassidy Bristow is gonna be the one to serve for Pine River back. It's going right to left on your radio dial and a high serve, not a lot of power on that one. Now near post, Fisher, that gets down. They have taken a deflection, but it's 20 to nine. Hater coming in for Dieters. Brooklyn Fisher. Some quality serving from her today, so a chance for the top, for the Jaguars. Potentially get on a run to close things out as Burns weakly hit that time right into the net. 21 to nine. Boy, what better way to start the year if we go to a fifth set. 
Seems that the Jaguars are well on their way to doing that. Four points away. 21 to nine the score. Line drive serve, dug out Bristow in the middle. Dahl now setting up, Hannigan in the middle, as that's gonna be far sideline, and that is deflected off the arm of Brooklyn Fisher, and a kill for Cassidy Bristow. Boy, she's been all over the place on the attack. Has been a standout player for the Tigers today. Avery Sawyer coming back in. Corey Ariana Burns, 21 to 10, BBE leads. Mimi Buker is gonna be the one to serve, line drive in the near corner, a dugout. Hagen, oh, a deflection off the net, but that's just enough as no Tiger was able to get to it in the front row, 22 to 10. Now another sub is Eladal coming in for Bukers. It's gonna be Leaser to serve. High in the air that time, and now slamming that one down. Casey Fisher, 23 to 10. And Bristow is gonna come out. Seeing action for the first time, Renee Hannigan. Weezer, line drive serve, Riley. Not quite the hit she wanted, but just able to corral it as she cleans up the mess. Now far post, Fisher, that's blocked, but out of bounds on the block. Set point for the Jaguars. Looking to force a fifth set. Line drive. Dahl setting up our post. Hannigan took a deflection off of a Jaguar out of bounds. So it's gonna be a point for Pine River Bacchus as they just stay alive. Dieters. Will be coming in for Leaser. Hannigan, Brianna Hannigan I should say to serve and that is out of bounds. Sets to Belgrade, Brutes and Rosa. And why not? Let's go to a fifth set for our first volleyball game of the season. 25-11. BBE dominates here in set number four. As a reminder, again, a, the deciding set number five. It is first to 15, win by two. These two teams that made it to the state tournament a year ago, Pine River Bacchus. Looking to end their four game losing skid against these Jaguars while Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa looking to get their first win on their first try to start off the year. But we are gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about set number four and we'll get you, get you re ready to go for the deciding set number five. We'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95.9 and yourliveevent.com. Save on your groceries and gas each week just by shopping at Pequot Lakes Super Value on Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Shop your locally owned Pequot Lakes Super Value for quality, service, and freshness. Enjoy delicious daily deli specials around the Stone Hearth Fireplace, convenience on-site pharmacy, and the freshest meats and produce. Save on gas, too. Earn 10 cents of savings on gas for every $100 spent on groceries. Pequot Lakes Super Value, Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Good luck, area teams. Pine River Dental Arts is committed to the small town feel of your local dentist while providing top-notch dentistry like general dental care for all ages to help you have the healthiest mouth possible. And they offer same-day crowns. Pine River Dental Arts is happy to welcome Dr. Tony Sauer to the Dental Arts team. Make your appointment at Pine River Dental Arts on Park Avenue in downtown Pine River or call 587-4437. Feeling like patients are like family. Great people, economic viability, a wonderful place to live. Pine River, Bacchus, and PRB Schools. PRB Schools is a small school district with large district opportunities, providing activities and classes that involve students, making sure... Let's have a fifth set to start the year. Noah Caruso and Emma Kenny here with you in Pine River. Pine River, Bacchus, and Belgrade, Brutino Rosa, two powerhouses in Class A volleyball duking it out to start off our broadcast schedule. And I tell you what, Emmett, we talked about it in pregame and we knew that this was gonna be a back and forth affair. We both, we, well, we knew that both teams came in with a good attack and boy, it's lived up to the hype. It has lived up to the hype. It's been an exciting game and two teams that you can see why they were so successful last year and what they were able to do and some high quality volleyball so far. 
as we are about ready to go in set number five. As a reminder, it is first to 15 here in the deciding set number five. They must win by two. For Belgrade Bruton El Rosa. Dieters, the libero in, as well as Jaeger and Leeser, both Brooklyn and Casey Fisher in, as well as Weller. Coach Alana Hunter in her fifth year, 58 and 17 in her tenure. Two state tournaments as the head coach. Talked about in the pregame of uh, how her team is able to execute the attack and really practices they've been able to adjust and step up in big moments. They were able to do that last year, of course, finishing fourth in state. Caitlin Riley in, in the back row as well. It's Madeline Knapp, Alora Dahl, who's gonna be the one to serve. In the front row, it is Mimi Bukers, Cassidy Bristow, and Ashley Champ. Pine River Bacchus looking to end their four game losing skid against these Jaguars, and here is the serve by Alora Dahl, going right to left on your radio dial. This is set number five as Bristow giving it a hit that time, but the Jaguars were ready. Far post, and that's down, a kill for Casey Fisher. One nothing BBE. These two teams met last year twice. Once in tournament play and one in, once in regular season action. These two teams used to be in the same section. They met in the 2017 section championship. BBE was able to take that one. Champ setting that one over. Dieters in the middle. Far post as Leeser, as that's dug out by Riley. Champ setting that one over. Weller in the middle. Brooklyn Fisher down in the far corner. Two nothing Jaguars. And the energy coming from the BBE crowd and the players. They were able to dominate set number four, 25 to 11. Serving for the Jaguars, Casey Fisher coming off the kill. Line drive serve. Bristow able to play it. Now near post, Buker's giving it a hit, but Dieter's able to play it. Far post now, this is Leeser, and that is just in in the near corner. 3-0, Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa. Just a quick recap of how we got here. BBE took set number one, 25 to 23. The Tigers responded with back-to-back -back set wins, 25 to 16 in set two, 25 to 21 in set three, and a dominant effort by the Jaguars, 25-11 in set number four to get to this point. Laura Dahl off the serve in the middle, Bristow and a touch. That time as that falls in the middle, near the claw of the logo on the BBE side. And the Tigers are on the board, three to one. Our score in set number five. Riley serving in the far corner. Now going the opposite corner. Weller setting up in the middle for Brooklyn Fisher. That is gonna get down again, Brooklyn Fisher. She was the standout all-conference a year ago for, Central, for the Central Minnesota Conference. Putting up an all-conference caliber performance again here tonight, four to one. The score here, and that's gonna be a lofted serve. Played by Bristow, and she's gonna get it back, but hits it right into the net, five to one. BBE on top here in set five, and a timeout, Josh Hershey looking to rally the troops. Five one, Belgrade Bruton El Rosa leads here in set number five. We'll take a quick break, we'll be back in just a moment. You're listening to High School Volleyball on Cash 95 and yourliveevent.com. Everything to be successful. PRB schools also offers a variety of community ed programs, a great way to learn new skills hands-on with others within the community, making connections with families, being involved with the community, becoming a community family. PRBschools.org. The PRB boosters are happy to spot year. Trump excavating wants to thank like them on Facebook for events and fundraisers. The PRB boosters could use your help. Be part of great events and fundraisers. All built to give back and present more opportunities for the students of Pine River Bacchus schools. For information or to get started, email prbboosterclub1.com. Meetings are the first Monday of every month at 6 p.m. Belgrade Bruton El Rosa to serve here in set number five. Five one Jaguars lead as Hannah off the serve bumping that one over. In the middle Weller to Brooklyn Fisher and just out of bounds on the back row. A deciding fifth set. Five to two now, Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa leads. Ariana Burns is coming out. Avery Sawyer back in. Cassidy Bristow to serve in the middle. 
Lofted serve near sideline. Brooklyn Fisher setting up for Hagen on the far post, but mistiming that jump, so not what she wanted as Hanneken, not mistiming that hit on the far sideline. A kill for Brianna Hanneken. Off the timeout by Josh Hershey and the Tigers seem to be roaring here in the, in the fifth set. Cassie Bristow again is going to serve as they get the ball from out in the hallway. That's how hard Brianna Hanneken was able to smash it. Now here we go. Bristow, line drive serve down the middle. Hanneken trying to meet Weller. But back on the BBE side, into the net, and that is gonna be a point for Pine River Bacchus. Not able to get it over in three hits. Five to four, Belgrade Brutonel Rosa leads. Bristow again. Line drive in the middle. Is that set up? Fisher. Now near post, Brooklyn Fisher, and that is Justin. Six to four. Or excuse me, it looks like miscommunication here as the Tigers thought that that was out of bounds. And now it's back over to Belgrade Brutinel Rosa. Six to four, the Jaguars lead. Brooklyn Fisher to serve on the right side. Line drive serve. Riley able to dig that one out in the middle. That's lofted up, Sawyer, Hader, now to Weller, far post, Hagen, took a deflection off the net, but the Tigers able to clean it up. Now here's Hanneken with the hit, and one handing at that time, and not able to keep it in play. Six to five, as Hanneken is gonna get the kill. Boy, she's come alive here after that timeout, here in the fifth set. She really struggled in set number four. She's rallying well, as well as the Tigers. Six to five, Jaguars lead. Hagen setting that one over. Now the Pine River back is looking to get going offensively. Lofted it over. Here come BBE near post. Blocked. And that's going to be a point for the Jaguars. That infringement that time, seven to five. And again, have to win by two. First to 15 here in the match deciding fifth set. Leeser's gonna serve, lofted serve in the far corner, miss hit that time by Bukers, but that is Sawyer able to clean up the mess. Now near post, Hagen, and lifted up that time, Bristow, great job that time to react. Hanneken slamming that one over. Far post, Fisher, dug out Riley again. Now here's Sawyer, lofted up by Weller, now far post again, Fisher, dug out again by Riley in the, far, in the near corner. Again, here's the hit by the Tigers, but again, the Jaguars answering. Far post again, took a deflection. Bristow on the far sideline. And now miscommunication between Hanneken and Sawyer. Boy, what a rally. But it seemed that Hanneken was locked and ready to give that a ride, but it is eight to five. Belgrade, Bruton, El Rosa leads. Leeser, serve in the middle. Dahl setting up in the middle. Hanneken, that gets down far sideline. Eight to six. And the back and forth action continues. No one is stand, or no one is sitting, excuse me, in the student section. Hanneken again to serve. Dieters plays it in the middle. Weller now to Hader. Deflection off the net. And that'll get down for a kill for Hader. Her fifth of the match. Nine to six. BBE leads. A couple of substitutions coming in as out is going to be Sawyer and Hanneken. Back in is going to be Champ and Knapp. And Knapp is going to get it off the serve, and that is just out of bounds near sideline. 10 to 6. Now we got a whistle as Megan Irish getting ready to come back in. She is coming in for Madeline Knapp. Serving is going to be Jaeger. It's gonna be a serve, and that is just out of bounds near sideline. Boy, very, very close. 10 to seven is Megan Irish. Will serve on the near side. It's gonna be a line drive, play in the middle by Dieters. Far post, Riley digging that one out, but no one home in the front row. And seeing that Bristow and Champ, a little bit of miscommunication that time. 
as Knapp is coming in for Irish. 11 to seven. Belgrade Brutino Rosa leading here. Dieters, the one to serve. Line drive near corner. Dahl setting it up for Bristow and able to get it down. That was off the arm of Jaeger that goes out of bounds. 11 to eight, Tigers not going away. And Alora Dahl has been getting a lot of runs started with her serving ability, able to mix up locations and speed as she is gonna be the one to serve. Long jump serve, line drive, played in the middle by Jaeger. Far post, Brooklyn Fisher, emphatic. As Brooklyn Fisher, she's been the spark of the attack all night for Belgrade, Brutes and El Rosa, and they lead 12 to eight. AC Fisher now out of bounds on the serve. 12 to nine. Caitlin Riley, when they were trailing, set number two, she got on a seven nothing individual run with her serving ability. And now Brooklyn Fisher, that's blocked. And it's a point for Pine River Backus. Couple of Tigers there to deflect it. Couldn't quite see who they're gonna get credit for on the block, but 12 to 10, the score. It was Hannigan and Champ there. Now here come the Jaguars. That's gonna be blocked and out of bounds. On the side of Pine River Backus has given that one a ride was Leeser. 13 to 10, Hagen now coming in for Jaeger. Weller is gonna be the one to serve. And now we got a timeout by Josh Hershey and the Tigers. We're gonna keep it right here and you know, Emmett, off this timeout, the Tigers, they're not going away. Obviously, two points away from taking the match for Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa, but what do you think is the message for Josh Hershey and his squad in this timeout? Well, it was kind of a use it or lose it timeout. It's just calm the team down. You're two points away from this game being over, so got to find a way to keep the momentum. And, you know, this point in the set has been the important part for the first four sets is, and for the Two of them, Pine River really made a run when they got to this point, so maybe they can put a run together and see if they can get back into this before uh, BBE can get to 15. Still high energy on the Tigers bench as we reset. 13 to 10, Belgrade Brutino Rosa leads here in set five, the deciding set. Belgrade Brutino Rosa serving, going left to right on your radio dial for our listeners on Cash 95.9. Line drive served by Weller. Riley digging that one out in the middle. Now setting up in the middle, Bristow setting that one over and no one there for the Jaguars. 13-11 as Bristow is gonna serve. Avery Sawyer coming in for Madeline Knapp. Cassidy Bristow, she's been fantastic tonight. Looking for a couple of great serves. 13-11 our score, it's gonna be a line drive. Glenn Fisher setting that one up. She's gonna get it back near post, deflected. Blocked, but it is out of bounds on the Pine River back his side. Set, match, point. 14-11, Belgrade, Brutes and El Rosa. Looking to get five wins in a row against Pine River Backus, and here we go. Out of bounds playing it is Alora Dahl. Hannigan hitting that one out of bounds, and that will do it. BBE trailing two to one in the match. Take back-to-back -back sets, and they take this one 15-11 as they win three to two in the match. Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa moves to one and zero oh on the year. Pine River Backus falls to three and two on the early season. And Emmett, boy, I tell you what, even from down to the last wire in this last set, I mean. It's just quality volleyball all around tonight. Yes, high quality volleyball, bunch of great plays, some good rallies, especially here in the fifth set. Very exciting, and Belgrade Bruton and Rosa just made enough plays towards the end to be able to get the victory. Well, we are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have our post-game reports. We'll have our break, big deal of the game and our Enbridge I Bring the Energy Player of the Game, as well as our Pine River Family Market Star of the Game Awards to give out. We'll be back in a moment. Listening to high school volleyball on Cash 95.9 and yourlivevent.com. Good luck, Tigers, from the PRB Boosters. 
This year, Shrupp Excavating is celebrating 40 years of digging it right. With this milestone year, Shrupp Excavating wants to thank all of their past, current, and future employees and customers. They appreciate all you've done to help Shrupp Excavating become one of the most trusted companies in the Lakes area. For any excavation project, Shrupp Excavating will have your project done right and on time. Serving Pine River, Bacchus, Pequot Lakes, and all the surrounding communities. Shrupp Excavating, LLC. Online at ShrupExcavating.com. Restock on food, fuel, and baits at locally owned Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Station 371 has bait and tackle, quality Senex gasoline, off-road diesel, and is the only stop with number one diesel. Make sure to stop by to wash off the sand and salt with their indoor car wash. Open when the temp is at least 26 degrees. They'll hook you up with your fishing and hunting licenses too. Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Thank you for supporting local business. I'm dreaming of a world where the crack of a bat is not just a hobby, but a lifestyle. Where I can build upon long traditions from the ground up. I want to work in an industry where all people can make their own field of dreams become reality. I'm going to elevate the world of sports someday. Do something fun and make new friends. Join a bowling league at Community Bowl and Pizzeria in Pine River. Community Bowl and Pizzeria has openings for all leagues, men's, women's, mixed, youth, seniors, and also Special Olympics. Enjoy some friendly competition and have a great time. Food specials offered on all league nights. Don't forget Moonlight Bowling every Saturday evening. For information on leagues or to sign up, call or stop into Community Bowl and Pizzeria in downtown Pine River. 218-587-3100. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic in Pine River is proud to support radio coverage of our area athletes. No matter the sport, they salute the kids and coaches for all their dedication and wish them all the best of luck. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic thanks all the coaches, staff, and volunteers for taking the time to provide our area kids plenty of opportunities. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic is located east of Pine River on County Road 1, providing compassionate small animal care for your beloved pets. Hannikin Insurance Agency is proud to support today's coverage. Hannikin Insurance has been serving families and businesses in central Minnesota for over 30 years. By working with an independent agency like Hannikin Insurance, the process of finding insurance that is appropriate for your goals and budget is simplified. Contact Hannikin Insurance Agency in Pine River, Little Falls, Piers, or Brainerd online at hannikininsurance.com. Let Hannikin Insurance give you the peace of mind that comes from knowing your financial situation is secure. Save on your groceries and gas each week just by shopping at Pequot Lakes Super Value on Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Shop your locally owned Pequot Lakes Super Value for quality, service, and freshness. Enjoy delicious daily deli specials around the Stone Hearth Fireplace, convenient on-site pharmacy, and the freshest meats and produce. Save on gas, too. Earn 10 cents of savings on gas for every $100 spent on groceries. Pequot Lakes Super Value, Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Good luck, area teams. Pine River Dental Arts is committed to the small town feel of your local dentist while providing top-notch dentistry like general dental care for all ages to help you have the healthiest mouth possible. And they offer same-day crowns. Pine River Dental Arts is happy to welcome Dr. Tony Sauer to the Dental Arts team. Make your appointment at Pine River Dental Arts on Park Avenue in downtown Pine River or call 587-4437. Feeling like patients are like family. Great people, economic viability, a wonderful place to live. Pine River, Bacchus, and PRB Schools. PRB Schools is a small school district with large district opportunities, providing activities and classes that involve students, making sure every student has everything to be successful. PRB Schools also offers a variety of community ed programs, a great way to learn new skills hands-on. Welcome back to the action. Noah Caruso here with you for post-game coverage here on Cash 95.9, simulcasting on your liveevent.com as the final set was taken by Belgrade Bruton El Rosa. 15-11, they take the match three to two. 
and a full recap here of the matches here. But in set one, Belgrade Brutino Rosa took a close one, 25 to 23. Pine Vervakis answered with back-to-back -back, uh, sets with a 25 to 16 and a 25 to 21 set win, respectively. And then Belgrade Brutino Rosa with back-to-back -back wins of their own, a 25-11 and a 15-11 wins to close things out. Belgrade Brutino Rosa moves to 1-0 and on the season. As Pine Rebacchus falls to 3-2, and two, losing five straight against these Jaguars. But we do have some interviews to get your way, so we're going to take a quick break. Back in just a moment on yourlivevent.com and Cash95. Community. Making connections with families, being involved with the community, becoming a community family. PRBschools.org. The PRB Boosters are happy to sponsor coverage of the Tigers. Like them on Facebook for events and fundraisers. The PRB Boosters could use your help. Be part of great events and fundraisers, all built to give back and present more opportunities for the students of Pine River Bacchus Schools. For information or to get started, email prbboosterclub1.com. Meetings are the first Monday of every month at 6 p.m. at the school. Good luck, Tigers, from the PRB Boosters. This year, Shrupp Excavating is celebrating 40 years of digging it right. With this milestone year, Shrupp Excavating wants to thank all of their past, current, and future employees and customers. They appreciate all you've done to help Shrupp Excavating become one of the most trusted companies in the Lakes area. For any excavation project, Shrupp Excavating will have your project done right and on time. Serving Pine River, Bacchus, Pequot Lakes, and all the surrounding communities. Shrupp Excavating, LLC. Online at ShruppExcavating.com. Pine River. Thank you for supporting local business. Welcome back. Post game coverage continues here on Cash 95.9 and your live event.com. We have Alana Hunter, head coach of the Belgrade Brutes and El Rosa Jaguars, joining us. And, you know, coach, you know, first game of the year, and you definitely yeah. had to work for it a little bit. Oh, yeah, we did. We made it a little bit harder for ourselves than we had to. Uh, dropping sets two and three there. Started off a little rocky, but kind of playing with some nerves, and I expected that. Uh, made a lineup shift in. Um, sets four and five and that really made the world of a difference not any personnel changes to start in a different spot to have a different look and that's kind of what set us on fire starting that set four there and talk about how the girls were able to really you know rally and you know you, as you mentioned it's you could see it, there was a little bit of rust in the first couple of sets but then you came out firing in sets uh, four and five when you needed to Just talk about how they were able to adjust to you know what you're trying to throw at them yeah it's something um, I played with these girls all summer and there's moments where we lost some focus throughout the summer and it was something we knew we needed to work at and a goal we had coming into the season or into the match tonight was to not let our lack of focus get in the way to really push through on some of those tough game, um, points find a way to come back from some of those errors and you know coach you talked about you know obviously last year you lost some key hitters but obviously yeah. bringing back players like Brooklyn and even uh, Casey played well today just talk about your yeah. performance from that front row today and how they, they were able to really attack yeah, Case or um Brooklyn and Adley are returning starters for us from last season, and Casey played a little bit for us, not a whole lot, and then Cadence and McKenna are brand new for us, actually came off of a C-Squad season last year, and were a really nice surprise coming into preseason, and definitely some rust, working out a few kinks, and there's things we've worked on in practice that they're not quite ready to bring into a game quite yet, but I was very proud of how well they continued to swing on the ball and didn't really give up on those. You know, Coach, I know you got a long bus ride back, but just talk about how good it's going to yeah. feel to at least go back home with the victory to open up your season. It'll feel really good. <laughs> I told them that we need to come in and really set the tone for the season. I feel they did that tonight in being tenacious throughout the entire match. Well, Coach, a big, it was a lot of fun to broadcast today. Big congratulations to you and your Thank squad, you. and safe travels back. Thank you. A lot of Hunter, head coach of the Belgrade Brutonel Rosa Jaguars. We're going to take a break. Hoping to get more interviews on in a moment. Uh, back in just a moment on Cash95 and YourLiveEvent.com. Restock on food, fuel, and baits at locally owned Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Station 371 has bait and tackle, quality Senex gasoline, off-road diesel, and is the only stop with number one diesel. Make sure to stop by to wash off the sand and salt with their indoor car wash. Open when the temp is at least 26 degrees. They'll hook you up with your fishing and hunting licenses too. Station 371 on Highway 371 in Pine River. Thank you for supporting local business.
I'm dreaming of a world where the crack of a bat is not just a hobby, but a lifestyle. Where I can build upon long traditions from the ground up. I want to work in an industry where all people can make their own field of dreams become reality. I'm going to elevate the world of sports someday. Do something fun and make new friends. Join a bowling league at Community Bowl and Pizzeria in Pine River. Community Bowl and Pizzeria has openings for all leagues, men's, women's, mixed, youth, seniors, and also Special Olympics. Enjoy some friendly competition and have a great time. Food specials offered on all league nights. Don't forget Moonlight Bowling every Saturday evening. For information on leagues or to sign up, call or stop into Community Bowl and Pizzeria in downtown Pine River. 218-587-3100. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic in Pine River is proud to support radio coverage of our area athletes. No matter the sport, they salute the kids and coaches for all their dedication and wish them all the best of luck. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic thanks all the coaches, staff, and volunteers for taking the time to provide our area kids plenty of opportunities. Country Doc Veterinary Clinic is located east of Pine River on County Road 1, providing compassionate small animal care for your beloved pets. Hannikin Insurance Agency is proud to support today's coverage. Hannikin Insurance has been serving families and businesses in central Minnesota for over 30 years. By working with an independent agency like Hannikin Insurance, the process of finding insurance that is appropriate for your goals and budget is simplified. Contact Hannikin Insurance Agency in Pine River, Little Falls, Piers, or Brainerd online at hannikininsurance.com. Let Hannikin Insurance give you the peace of mind that comes from knowing your financial situation is secure. Save on your groceries and gas each week just by shopping at Pequot Lakes Super Value on Patriot Avenue in Pequot Lakes. Shop your locally owned Pequot Lakes Super Value for quality, service, and freshness. Enjoy delicious daily deli specials around the Stone Hearth Fireplace, convenience on-site pharmacy, and the freshest meats and produce. Save on gas, too. Wrapping things up here on Cash 95.9 and YourLiveEvent.com. And we weren't able to get our award winners or Josh Hershey on for the post-game interviews, but here are your award winners. And, of course, we have to uh, thank our many great sponsors for helping us present these awards. Of course, we have our Enbridge I Bring the Energy Player of the Game. And then we have our Big Deal of the Game as we get our features list up here. And as a special thanks to Plumbing Etc. of Pine River and Trustworthy Components of Pine River again for helping us broadcast this game tonight. And of course, we have our big deal of the game to give away. Thanks to our sponsors of Atwater, Chevrolet GMC in Aiken, Riverwood Healthcare, Pizza Ranch and Baxter in Little Falls, W.W. Thompson Concrete Products in Brainerd, Matson Lumber in Nisswa, Donlinger Automotive in Brainerd, BigDealAuctions.com, Cuyuna Regional Medical Center, Tykes Carpet Castle in Brainerd, and Shannon's Auto Body in Brainerd. That is going to go to Brooklyn Fisher, the uh, middle hitter for the Belgrade Bruton L. Rosa Jaguars, as she was able to corral 15 kills to take that one as she was, you know, came in as a all Central Minnesota Conference player and she showed it tonight, was able to rally the team well and was really the key component for their offense in terms of their attacking. So she is our big deal of the game and then our Enbridge I bring the energy player of the game will go to Casey Fisher. She made some crucial uh, diving plays in that back row, was able to corral also eight set assists in this one to go on top uh, for many digs in this ball game. Don't have the uh, official number on me here, but fantastic game from both the uh, the Fisher sisters here as Casey Fisher, even especially in that fourth set, she was able to get a couple of game-saving digs uh, to keep them alive in this one. And for our Pine River Family Market star of the game, brought to you by Pine River Family Market. Pine River Family Market is where you can find it all and still enjoy the local hometown atmosphere. Every Wednesday, gallons of milk are just two for $6. Visit them online for curbside pickup or delivery. PineRiverFamilyMarketDelivers.com. That's going to go to Caitlin Riley. She was all hustle, all game long in the back row, and she uh, was the libero entering this game, and she has earned that spot well. And we talk about those game, uh, you know, those match, or excuse me, those set 
saving digs. She had a lot of those in their back-to-back -back set wins in sets two and three. Hustled all game long, and she's going to get our Pine River Family Market star of the game going to Caitlin Riley, including even in that uh, set number three where they were able to rally and come back and get the victory. She was able to get seven digs just in that set alone. So Caitlin Riley, our Pine River Family Market star of the game. And before we close things out, we are going to uh, round out our schedule. Of course, as mentioned on KLKS Talk 100.1, Pequot Lakes was able to get the sweep of Wadena Deer Creek three to nothing. You can hear from Coach Ganley, head coach of the Pequot Lakes Patriots tomorrow on the final whistle, giving you your daily high school sports coverage on 3 WIAM 1270 FM 96.3 and you can listen at rjbroadcasting.com as uh, that's going to be your coverage for high school sports all season long as we are now really in the thick of things but looking at our future schedule for this week of course uh, no high school sports going on tomorrow but Thursday you know what that means the start to the high school football season and looking at what we got going on for our broadcast for Thursday, we have Aiken at Chisholm on KKI and FM Real Country 94.3 with a 6.30 pregame. Pequot Lakes traveling to North Branch with a 6.30 pregame on KLKS Talk 100.1. Osaka is traveling on the road to take on Pillager on 3 WIAM 1270 FM 96.3. And Pine River Back is hosting Uppsala Swanville 6.30 pregame on Skeeter 101.5 and yourliveevent.com. And Emmett... You know, that's a uh, first uh, chance to see volleyball for the first time, see some live game action. Just uh, any final notes before we close off the, the, the night here? That was an exciting game. That was that felt like a championship-type game, and we'll see how these teams continue their season. Obviously, the first game of the season for Belgrave, Bruton, El Rosa, but it's still early for Pine River Bacchus, so it's going to be an exciting season for both teams as they continue on. For Pine River Bacchus, they fall to 3-2 and two on the year. Belgrave, Bruton, El Rosa it goes to 1-0 and oh to get their season started. That's going to do things here in Pine River. Special thanks to all of our sponsors for helping us make this broadcast happen. And, of course, thank our sponsors with your patronage. Shop local, support the community, and support the team in that community. For myself, Noah Caruso, and Emma Kenny, we say thank you and good night from Pine River.